Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Can you hear me? I can't see myself. My video is not popping up, so I, I don't even know if I'm on or not. Hmm. There I am. Let's see. Oh, man. What, what's cracking lacking with my hair? Oh, man. Oh. Mute. 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 Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Sorry I was a little bit late. I actually wasn't as prepared as I thought I was and didn't realize it until it was too late. How is everybody doing? Happy Sunday. Hi, Joe. Hi, Melissa. Wilster's World. Hello, Patrick. Good morning. Um, uh, Patrick, I don't know. I'm working on it in a sense that it's on my mind. In practice, it's not quite there yet, but I'm still, I'm working on it. That's all that matters. Uh, NBA All-Star Game is tonight. Is it already the All-Star Game? What? Didn't the season just start? I haven't been keeping up with basketball. I haven't actually been keeping up with sports a lot lately. I, I get kind of confused in regards to uh, COVID. It's, it's a little bit confusing. How's everyone doing? Sorry, I, I try to, um, my goal was to try to live stream yesterday and honestly I just wasn't feeling it like I just woke up and was like meh and I literally had a lazy day which was really really great so I appreciated that and I've been working on my you guys know remember when Shining Fates came out and I was like obsessed with it to the point where I was like I gotta get all the cards I gotta get this Zard and so I was buying packs off the yin yang and I was opening up packs off the yin yang and now my mind has shifted to like, I wanna complete this set. Like I want just, I want this master set to be done and so I can move on. So now I've been attached to a lot of claim sales to try to get the handful of cards that I needed. As of, I think it was as of like March 3rd or 4th, I still needed 40 cards. Yeah, it's my Mac shirt. Um, I needed 40 cards, but I am currently, this is how intense it's gotten, I'm down to three cards. I need three cards to complete my Shining Fates collection. I'm very proud of myself, but um, it's definitely been, it's been a challenge and a lot of claim sales and a lot of PayPal, like to the point where my, my PayPal was like, you can't use your bank account anymore. So I had to start using credit cards. I was like, okay, fun, fun, be that way. Anyways, uh, Nicholas, welcome. I'm glad that you caught my live. I don't know what is happening right now with my hair. Um, yeah, I still have all the TikToks that I filmed. I just haven't posted them. So that's not great. That's the, my life story though, you guys. I film so much and then I don't post anything. Um, but it's going well. Kenesha, is it, I don't, I don't want to say your name wrong. Is it, is it Denise? Is it Denise? Denise? Dinis? Will found his Dragapult. Congratulations, Will. I'm glad. Elise, hello. Um, so I thought we would hang out for a little bit, do some pack breaks. Um, I'll be honest, my mouth has been watering ever since our um, ever since our Shining Fates battle that one time. Like I'm like ooh, uh, Noah. You know what's funny? No, I was at. I think I told you guys this last time when I went to Target on the Target Con release. One of the targets I went to had like. A million of the Charmander diamond like diamond Charmanders I was like what is this and I didn't even know because I haven't been keeping up with pops and so I tried to buy them all and then they were like oh they're not released yet and then no I didn't go for anything uh, that was probably the one pop that I wanted but I the stress of comic-con releases even the target con I didn't I didn't even go for that like I just happened to go to the store that day and then whatever they had available I picked up some stuff, but I I haven't been um, keeping up with the releases because those things, that's, I think, honestly, that's what stressed me out the most about Pops is like, there's like a con every other week and, and there's all these releases and then you have to keep up with them. And then you're like on the internet, like midnight or 6 a.m. And I was like, um, I'm not trying to do all that. So, uh, Patrick, now I am in the house. You are in the house. So yeah, so I thought we'd hang out. I am going to offer a battle today. I don't know if it's going to fill, but I wanted to try to do another one of those Shining Fates battles because that was so much fun and there were so many hits and I just feel like it's totally like, 
don't know. That's the way to go. Um, <clears throat> but let's see. What do we want to do first? First of all, I want to show you guys this. I bought this off of eBay. Uh, it was the one main card for my Champions Path set that I still needed. I still need a few more. So if anybody pulls them today and wants to trade these. I did, however, buy the Gardevoir VMAX Full Art. So that one's complete. I still need my Rotom bike, my reverse hollow Rotom bike, which is currently in my Amazon or my eBay cart. And then I need whatever this one empty space is. It's some kind of V card. But where's my Champions Path booklet? I think it's like Incineroar. I freaking need Incineroar V. So I think I'm down to, was that, three cards? Incineroar V. Oh, crap. I need the, I need the Centiscorch Reverse Hollow. I do have, I do have, so I bought this on a claim sale. Ooh. And then I still need that dang Reverse Hollow Rotom Bike, which I know a lot of you guys said that you had it, but I just feel dumb. It feels dumb, like, trying to have anybody ship one card that's a freaking Rotom Bike Reverse Hollow. But Piers is one of the main big cards that I still needed for my set. And so I am going to go ahead now and add it. Let me go ahead and just move this really quick. Since it's going to my binder, I'm going to put a hard sleeve on it. And I got this on eBay and honestly, I know a lot of people talk crap about eBay, but this is actually looking pretty fire. Like it is, it's okay centering. You guys, I've got this new centering tool on eBay. I still haven't really figured out how to use it properly, but look, the back looks really good. There's no white marks. Not that I'm getting this graded or anything, but uh, you know, people always question, they always say like, oh, be careful with eBay because you never know what you're gonna get, which is so true but I got lucky on this one. Um, and I think I paid like 10, 10 or $15 for it. It was a little bit on the pricier end, but this is, um, you know, sometimes I get lucky, but these don't pop up in claim sales very often because it's a Piers Rainbow from Champion's Path. Um, do, 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 do. Jay-Z says, I have like four Incineroars. Well, hopefully if somebody opens Champion's Path today and they get it, they'll trade with me. Um, yeah. I have all the Vizard, so that's the thing. Um, yeah, Charlie, I didn't get any of them. Would you still want to go to a Funko convention? Of course, I would totally go to a con uh, for sure. I just don't, I'm trying to be careful because it's really easy, especially for me, to fall into the hole that is Funko Pops and releases. And that's what really like legitimately stressed me out before was the Funko Pop and the releases. All right, you guys can't see me doing this. I'm very excited about it though, but I'm going to go ahead and put my rainbow piers right here. Um, I know some of you guys saw my Instagram. I have, I made a video, but on Friday, uh, it was Pokemon day at one of my after school programs. I think they made it, po they asked me first if I could come, um, and, uh, talk to the kids about Pokemon cards. I didn't really know actually what I was supposed to be doing. Um, and I was like, uh, yeah, of course, I would love that because I love Pokemon cards. And I know those are the kids. This after school program was the same one that I was telling you guys about last time where when I went there, um, they were all collecting Pokemon cards and I, I happened to have sleeves in my car. And so I, I brought them out for them, penny sleeves. And so I was like, yeah. And so I put together, that's a picture you saw uh, when I was at the site. I put together 30 tins. So... I don't have an example of a tin. And I made a video, I did two videos actually. I did a vlog video where I also ate chicken feet, but people probably don't wanna see that, but it's in there. And then I also did like an actual like shorter video of, of me putting together the tins and what I put in them. Um, but yeah, I made 30 tins with all my extra, you know, you know I, get, I have a lot of extra tins. So I put like a sticker sheet, a couple McDonald's packs, 
I had like the little Pikachu picture frame from the uh, McDonald's Happy Meals. Um, I made four homemade packs and there was at least one pack for every kid that had some kind of hit. They were usually like V cards or GXs or something random like that. And then I put some loose cards where it was set up like a, it was almost set up like a custom booster with, where it had like commons, uncommons, reverse holo, a bunch of reverse hollows. Um, a hollow rare, and then a bunch of regular rares. I actually didn't realize. I don't actually have a lot of like bulk cards. I didn't realize it until I was doing this where I was like, oh no, like I almost ran out of hollow rares. And it was so interesting to me because I just thought I had, I was like set up a little bit better. Um, and then I put like a portfolio, like those little card portfolios, a little coin, um, a couple Eevee sleeves from Hidden Fates. Um, and oh a couple of stickers like the stickers i give to you guys when um, i ship you your cards and then i had a bunch of top loaders and penny sleeves so when they opened there they each got to pick one tin and when they opened them um i had you know the penny sleeves and the top loaders i taught them like oh always put your card in a penny sleeve before you put in a top loader we went over the little symbols on the cards and like what they mean we talked about fair trades and then i had brought a lot of extra cards to trade and so i did a lot of trades that were definitely not considered full trades they were definitely unfair trades but unfair on my end but i knew they were on my end and that was one of the things i was teaching them was like if you know the value of your card and you're okay trading a higher value card for a lesser value because that's a card that you want or you needed then that's okay but what you don't want to do is trade a card like if you have a Charizard, right? If I have this freaking Charizard that's, you know, anywhere from 250 to 350, uh, 250 to 300. Like if you walked up and said, oh, I'll trade you this Rainbow Beauty, it's the same thing. And I didn't know what the value of it, then of course that's not okay. Um, which speaking of that, here's another card that I got. I actually accidentally got two of these. This is a card I got in a claim sale. I did not pay 28, I think I, did maybe 23. The cool thing about claim sales is you can kind of haggle a little bit, but this is actually for Vivid Voltage, I believe. <clears throat> I've been slowly trying to finish my, um, my, this is like the main thing that I need for Vivid Voltage is all the rainbows. Um, I almost got this card, but I wasn't really willing to budge on, I think they were trying to make me pay it was dumb. I should have just got it. I think they were trying to make it 18 and I wanted 15. It's dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, um, so we're going to go ahead and also add beauty. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the comments. Uh, there hasn't been a train. Doesn't Pokemon get stressed for you because you... No, yes, it does. Yes. Uh, it's not as stress. It's stressful in my own time frame. So the thing about Funko Drops... Um, is like you have to get it right away. Now, if you're talking about like Pokemon drops, I don't even go for Pokemon drops. Like when they drop things on the Pokemon Center or if they drop them on GameStop, I don't go for, I don't track those. If I happen to look at GameStop and there's something available, then I'll grab it. Or like on Amazon, if something becomes available and it's there, I'll grab it. But I don't hunt, I don't seek it. And like with, with Comic-Con Pops, you have to like know when they're going to release. Like if you don't get them when they release, that's it. Right, that's unless they have a restock, but like it's the same with Pokemon cards, except it's a little bit right now easier for me to. I don't know, I feel like Pokemon cards release all the time. Like, there's not just like there's always like a release date, but then they always it's almost like they restock a little bit more, and so there's a little bit more Pokemon cards on the market. Um, Matt is in the house, hello, and sometimes when you're trying to complete a set, you need a uh, no, no, I don't when I decide to complete a set. Okay, well, here's the thing. When I decided to complete a set, that's why if you guys remember, like the past two weeks, I've been opening up like a bajillion Shining Fates car packs. I probably should have just bought the card, but to get the Zard, and then I finally got the Zard. And once you once you get the high value card, then everything else is pretty simple. So like same thing with uh, Vivid Voltage. I don't know if you remember the first time I pulled that Rainbow Pikachu for Marley. I was like, no. And so I went on eBay and I was able to get a decent deal. I paid for the Rainbow Pikachu because it's so rare, even though I pulled three of them now, but not for me. Um, <laughs> I went and bought that, the damaged one that I got because it was perfect for my card binder. Um, 
Let's see. Hi, Christina Payne. Good morning. I went to Barnes & Noble and bought packs and every pack had a V-card. See, like Rye, I've been lucky. I got lucky one time where I went to Barnes & Noble and there was one collection box available. It was for Champions Path. And the reason it was available is because the box was sealed, but there was a pack missing. Like, you, you know, you're supposed to be four packs in there and there was only three. And I didn't know at the time that packs tend to slip out. And so like, I actually brought it to them and I wasn't gonna leave it there, but they gave me like a 10% discount. And then when I took it home, that ended up being that the pack had slipped behind it. So that was great. Um, but I've also gone to Barnes and Noble many times where there's just nothing. Um, yes, Michelle, I decided to do an early one just so that, cause I have a lot of things that I wanna get done today. And if I stream too late, what ends up happening is I sit in bed all morning and then I stream, and then by the time I'm done, it's like five o'clock, and then I my whole day is gone. So I wanted to start this at nine, but I didn't get out of bed in time. I was watching um, Eamon and Beck. Does anyone watch them? I just bought a jogger suit from them because I really like their vlog or their videos. I don't know what it is. Um, good morning, James. Rashawn Han, good morning. Warmer done the South uh, Hardcore Restock Shining Fates. See, I have never gotten lucky yet to find shining fates in the store in the wild at retail price uh, i haven't tried very hard though either i i don't mind trying but like i'm not at the point of my life where i want to get up at six in the morning and wait inside wait in line outside of a walmart which is what i did i've done that once so far um and i i actually try to avoid walmart so I don't know. I just, it's very disappointing for me when I go to like 10 stores and I don't find anything. So I've just decided to kind of let it be. Like if I happen to go to the store and there's cards there, great, but I don't necessarily seek them. I've actually, that's why I tend to just go third party market, which isn't great, but it's easier. It gets shipped to my house. I don't have to waste the time driving around. Um, I just don't like, I literally like don't understand how scalpers do it. If they don't have inside information, I don't know how they do it. Cause I've heard that there's scalpers who just like every day, that's what they do. And I could not imagine. I'd be so sad and so tired. Um, Hot Topic had aluminum pops. That makes sense. Uh, Phase rug. I'm not super familiar with the Phase clan. Chevelle, hello. Uh, Nicholas, I went every day at seven. Yeah, so you must have been lucky. You must have gotten lucky, which is great. Like, it's worth it, especially if you don't want to pay third-party market prices. It's just, I like, that necklace, like, right now in my life, I can barely get up at any time that early. So, yeah, just not where I'm at. Anyways, I got this beauty, and so let's go ahead and do this. Um, uh, what are we doing? Uh, oh, let's talk about what, what we have in store for today. I want to open this package. It's something I bought on eBay. I don't exactly remember what it is, but it's something miniature. I don't remember. I can't honestly remember what it is miniature wise. I just remember I bought something on eBay and it's miniature and I was going to go look back and see what it was. And I was like, eh, it'll be fun to just be surprised. I bought this centering tool. Um, we can do this when I split the camera around and apparently it's supposed to help you understand like your centering of your card. Not that it really matters that much to me, but you guys know I've, I've been talking about wanting to get cards graded. Although now's a really bad time to get cards graded, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's something on my mind. And I was like, oh, well this will help me understand if it's centered so I don't send something in that's not centered. Um, hi, Fina, how are you? And then I have some five surprise balls that I wanna open. And uh, and then, yeah, we can jump into it. If anybody's interested in opening packs today, you don't have to. Um, some new things. I did make some new custom booster packs. Uh, they're in a Vivid Voltage box, but these are all, these are all Shining Fates. This is a Shining Fates edition in regards to the hits. There are, I will be honest, because I was trying to get creative with my packs, there are some commons and uncommons that are not Shining Fates. But most of everything in this is Shining Fates. The, with the chance of getting, um, I think there's four different packs on the table. I did put hits in the one that had packs though. Um, I wanted to do one, if we can fill it, one Shining Fates and Vivid Voltage battle. I'm, I'm All of my things that I've purchased uh, before they release Shining Fates are coming in and I have a, a couple more ETBs. Um, so I thought that'd be fun. I think, and then just like random packs to open, just like random things, but only if you guys want. Um, if anybody bought something from me last week and asked for shipping, I shipped out yesterday, so hopefully you got a notification. And yeah, I think 
Let's jump into it. Let me put this beauty away. So I'm going to flip you guys around. Let me grab my other tripod. I'm going to flip you guys around. Ugh. Here we go. Now I don't have a phone charger, so hopefully my phone doesn't die right now. But Hi, Slap. Good afternoon. See, this is why I figured it wasn't that early. It's kind of early for me because it's like 10 o'clock, which is kind of early. Although I've started streams at 10. Um... But, you know, that, that's like noon on the East Coast, so it's not that early. Fina, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I've just been really stressed out at work lately. So uh, yesterday I took my time and just kind of chilled. I literally chilled all day. I, I like All I did was like uh, search claim sales and watch YouTube videos. Oh, I made brownies. Wait, I don't know why I use quotes. Not like weed brownies. I really like chewy brownies. I don't like cakey brownies. So I was researching like how to use a box brownie mix and make it like chewy. So I followed those recipes and they turned out really funny. Like they're not like brownies at all. I don't know. I feel like I made more like fudge to be honest. It's kind of funny. Um, I'm not a good baker at all. I'm like really bad at baking. Amanda, I'm glad. Oh, it's seven. Where are you, Amanda? Stevie, where are, wait, where are you guys located? That's very late. Australia or something? Here is our Rainbow Rare Beauty that I got off eBay. You know, so far, my luck with um with eBay cards has been pretty good. I'll be honest, the uh, the three cards I need, again, are currently in my cart right now. And if I can't find them elsewhere, then I'll probably just make the jump. What is this? 194. So you're going right next to Leon. Nice. I got a Steelix, Full Art Steelix, which goes here. Uh, I don't, I think I need like Nessa and I don't know what other full art, um, trainers I need. I need, oh, B, B, Nessa. I haven't been able to find those. Oops, wait, I want this one. I got the Colossal, or I might have gotten the Colossal V Max. I don't know. I can't tell. My dot system's a little bit funky right now. So I, like my Shining Fates, I'll show you guys. My Shiny Fates um, collection, I had to get a new booklet because I had confused myself with all of the, um, with all the dots that I was making because I wasn't being consistent with my dots. And so then I didn't know what I had or what I didn't have. So I have a new dot system in place, which is awesome. Let me show you guys. I'll show you this really quick. Hi, Dina. UK, Steve's in the, oh, it's night, oh, it's it's already that late in the UK? Wow, oops. So yeah, so I redid my um, booklet so that basically if I have a card, it gets a check. If I have claimed, like bought a card on a claim sale that I've fully paid for, then it gets a dot in the square. And then if I don't have it yet, or like I'm 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 like working at a deal with somebody, then I put a dot above the square. So, and then when done, uh, if I have everything on the page, then I do a check mark on the top. That way I can just quickly see that I have all the cards. So like I need ball guy, which I actually bought. I accidentally, I should put a dot here. I accidentally bought like three of him because I was trying to find one on a claim sale and I found like three and then I accidentally claimed too many. So once I get him in, this sheet will be done. Actually, it's done now because that's the only one I need. So I'm just going to, I don't have them in hand yet, but it's close enough. Hi, Ghoul. Um, all right. And then I need the Choodle, which I also, uh, I think I got him in a claim sale and the Aracuda. I think I just, I think I just finalized that, but I need to look first. And then I need the more Peko. That's one of the ones I haven't seen ever. I did get the Sinisty, so I should mark that one. And then I haven't seen this in a claim sale that I've been able to get, so that's in my um, eBay card as well. And then the uh, 
Galarian Obstagoon. So there's three main cards that I'm looking for. Galarian Obstagoon, Morpeko, and um, Milsery. Those are like the three main ones because I already got all of these. Um, I did do a claim sale for this one because I actually haven't pulled. Out of all the packs I've pulled, I don't think I pulled this one unless I lost track, but I pulled everything else. Everything else has been pulled where I don't have to buy it. Um, but the Baby Shinies are really challenging. Anyways, three cards away, I think, from getting this, this bad boy done. And that's so exciting. It'll be my first master set, actually, because I still never finished, you know, I never finished my Champion's Path. That was the first master set that I tried to complete, um, <laughs> but I never finished it. So my goal is, just so you guys are aware, because it's gotten a little bit out of control, and I'm very, like, I get really addicted to things. Like, right now, my mind is like, you have to finish the Shining Fates master set. So what I'm going to do is try to finish the three sets that I'm collecting, and I'm never... I'm never going to try to collect any more master sets because it's just, it it costs too much money, especially the way I am, because I don't want to just go buy the cards. I want to try to pull, especially the big hits. I want to try to pull them myself. So then I end up, you know, spending a lot of money on packs and all this stuff. Anyways, so there's that. Um, let's go ahead and open up this box. You guys can see what it is. I Again, I don't know what it is, but my address is on the other side. So let me just cut this open. Like I said, it's something miniature. Oh, I remember now. I remember. That's so funny. Don't make fun of me, guys. Um, I saw this and was like, this is so cool. I've been really addicted to miniature things. I'm always addicted to miniature things. Um, I literally on Etsy just bought a bunch of miniature cards because they're so cool. I saw them on Royalty Gaming's channel and then I also saw them on Breaking Nates, Real Breaking Nates. And I was like, oh, I need that. So I, for some reason, thought it was really important to get these miniature versions. You can't even see it, it's so small. There's the little card sleeve with the number, that's one, and then, oh my gosh. How do people even have printers that can print this small? So this is a little version of this. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna lose that. And this is a miniature version of this. Ugh, you guys. So cool. So cool. It's so unnecessary, but so cool. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I'm such a sucker for miniature things. Like, when I see miniature things, I'm like, wow. <sighs> so I do have some miniature cards coming in. Not the ones that were on real Breaking Nate's channel because those ones were a little bit more expensive. I don't need them necessarily in the actual package, so I just bought loose cards, but we'll see how it is. Oh, man. I need to find a cool place for that. I need to have, like, a shelf just for my mini collection because you guys know. I like mini things. I just like to collect mini things. That's all. Don't judge me. Um, and then I wanted to open up at least one su five surprise ball. I really, really like these stupid things and... Um, I'm not trying to collect this whole set. I probably could, though, but I'm not trying. I mean, if it happens, I think it's too hard to get the really rare ones of these, to be honest. Did you film McDonald's cards opening? Uh, not a specific one because I opened, most of them I opened on, actually, no. There was this one night, to be honest, Dina, like there was this one night. So I opened, I've opened a bunch on this channel, I think, during live streams. But there's this one night that I was like, I want to collect this whole set. And so I just went through and opened a crap ton of packs until I got my whole set. And then I did get my whole set. I don't think, did I ever show you guys my whole set? It's actually, I think I did, right? It's in this binder. So this binder, my Pokeball binder or portfolio thing has Champion's Path in the, in the front. And then it jumps to Vivid. 
And then in the very back, because I had just enough pages, um, this is my this is my McDonald's uh, collection. So the hollows are in the front, and the the non hollows are in the back. And then I have the General Mills Pikachu. I'm a little bit confused by the General. Actually, does anyone know? So I saw like a thing that there's like General Mills hollows that are like not Pikachu, but I'm confused on like. I'm confused on like, I thought the ones from the cereal are all, aren't the ones from the cereal all, they all have one Pikachu and then just random cards or is that wrong? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I could be, I'm not quite sure. All right, here we go. Oh yes, I got another Ninja Turtle, that's cool. I really like the Ninja Turtles. They're like one of, I think they might be my favorite thing in this. Ugh, I got another one of these teeny genie things. I don't like that one because it's just a box. Like there's not an actual toy. Like in the Ninja Turtle, there's an actual toy, you know? Uh, we got another rainbow corn. We have a lot of those. Oh, we got a dine, an alligator that eats things. Some packs have both very random, but are the hollows that, Rashawn, the hollow that they might have, oh, a no cart, nice. Oh, I never got this one, I don't think. The cart, uh, the hollows that might be in it, are they specific to those packs or are they just random hollows from other sets? I thought that they just put random cards from other sets in the, um, in those things. No one. In no yen on man. No one. I don't know what you're ta who you're talking to or what you're talking about. You don't hear many people say they love miniature things. Really? I love min miniature. Oh, sorry. I should clarify. I like miniature versions of things. It really like. I remember I went to a hotel one time and they had the miniature Tabasco sauce and I was so intrigued. Like what? It's a mini version of that. On side of cereal box shows like four. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, here's the thing. Before they even came out, I bought these on Facebook Marketplace. And I have opened one on the channel. That's where I got the Pikachu. I didn't realize there was different potentials at Hollow. So I wasn't going to open these because I was like, oh, well, there's only the Pikachu. And I already have the Pikachu. Um, Hey, guy, whoever your name is, and a Yana Nim, uh, can you chill? or else somebody's gonna block your comments soon, whether it's me or somebody else. Okay, well, you don't, you have no chill. I actually don't know how to how to block a comment. <laughs> I can only remove or put user in timeout. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mikio. Uh, the artwork is from other sets, but the hollows have the 20, oh, I need the other ones. How many are there, did you say? Yeah, <laughs> Rick hates my minis. I'm totally, thank you, Mikio. I'm totally going to um, make like a mini display with all of my miniature things. All right, I'm gonna open a couple of these. Let's just look, let's just look. I didn't realize there was a chance at getting other cards. I thought that you only could get the Pikachu Hollow. Does that mean I'm, I'm not gonna get anything else because I got this Pikachu Hollow? I haven't watched any videos. So these are just random cards. These are just random cards from random sets. So no, wow. What's the chance of getting a random hollow? Is that real? The hollows are Galarian Ponita. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh no, oh crap. No, you guys, I thought I was done. I was like, oh, I got the Pikachu. All right, well, I feel like we just need to, I haven't been able to, I every time I go to the store, I look at the cereal section and none of the cereals have, uh, Pokemon cards, so. So wait, is it, you, no, oh, you always, oh, you always get the, oh, God, okay. I feel like the chances of getting another hollow in this are super, like, it's not gonna happen. Has anyone pulled a different hollow from these packs? Is that real? 
Oh no, I'm gonna open all of these. Everyone has a Pikachu guarantee, but some have a second hollow. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I think, well, I think I've only opened one. I don't remember. Now, I didn't know that was the breakdown. So now I'm wondering if maybe I messed that up. Well, I have a lot of Pikachu hollows now. Oh, wait, but this doesn't have a stamp. I think I pulled another hollow like this, but it didn't have a stamp. So I just thought it was another hollow from a different thing, right? Is there supposed to be a stamp on this? Crap, I can't remember how many, I think I've only opened one or two. I think I've only opened one, hopefully. I don't think the other one had a hollow, I don't remember. What are the, what are the ones I can get? Wooloo, oh, you guys, now I feel like I wanna try to get them. Do I just keep opening? Is Yeah, the hollow pattern is different. It's the same as these ones, but there's no stamp on it. Isn't that what makes it like, why wouldn't they put the stamp on it? Oh, that's okay. That's the, the special German Mills hollow no stamp, okay. Let's see. Oh no, I thought I had this whole set collected. Dang it. <laughs> Look what happens, guys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Can we get, how many are there? Wait, go back, go back. Uh, Galerian Ponita. How do you say this one, Hatenya? I keep calling it, I call it, is it Hatena? I call it Hatenya. <laughs> oh, she's a hat. Oh, I see. Anyways. Um, so I got the Pikachu, Wooloo, I got Wooloo, so I need Glossifler, Glossifer, Glossifler. Did you know Glossifer is the unevolved uh, evolution of um, Eldegoss? Didn't know that until yesterday. Um, I need three more then. Oh, you guys, I think the chances are very slim. Oh, <laughs> I think the chances are slim. Let's just go for it. I think I would feel... I think I would feel like not great if I didn't open these and didn't just go for it. So let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. And if we get doubles, we can put them in the giveaway. I don't know if anyone likes this pack art, but I'll save these if anybody wants them. Oh! <laughs> I think I've opened, I can't, I thought I opened one of these and got a, oh, look at the other more, more Pekko in the back. Okay, what do we have left? Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Glossifleur and 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 Glaring Ponita. Okay, I need two more and I've got four packs. I don't know. Are you the one who opened the cereal? No, I bought these on Facebook Marketplace. I actually bought these before they released, so I paid way too much money. Honestly, paid way too much money for these. I don't want to tell you how much I paid per pack, but I at the time, I was like, this is a great deal because they hadn't released yet. So obviously on the market, everything was really overpriced. And so this was the cheapest one that was on the market, but still in the sense of price points, it was the mo it was very expensive compared to what they what they're going for now and, you know. Okay. So yeah, I bought these all on Facebook Marketplace. Like somebody sent literally sent them to me in a Ziploc bag. Is the, is the hollow always going to be in the second one? I wish they would just put, I mean, I know it would make it not as valuable, but I wish they would just put a second hollow in every pack. I don't know how much this set goes for. I didn't even realize it was a set. I thought it was just the Pikachu. I got confused. I saw a picture somebody posted. I was like, what are those? And then they said General Mills. I was like, no, it's just the Pikachu in the General Mills. And then I got really confused. Okay, guys. Dang it. So this Pikachu is going to be super not valuable because there's there's so many of them. All right. I don't think I've given up a little bit. I will say that I accidentally bought a bunch of these in a claim sale. Um, I bought four because I thought I was trying to claim a different card and then I didn't get the other card, but I got the four packs and then they offered me another four packs after the fact. So I was like, sure, why not? And I was just going to use them as giveaways, but maybe I need to open them now because I'm trying to get this set. Dang it, I thought that might have been the Galarian. Okay, so I will not leave today with this entire General Mill set, unfortunately. 
darn. Oh my gosh. That guy said, oof, why did I get timed out? Really? <laughs> uh, it was probably the 20 comments that you put with just the letter R. <laughs> what are the best cards in these? I mean, I'm assuming these hollows. Um, thank you, Dylan. Dylan, I actually just bought the Pokey Kid. I just just bought the Pokey Kid. But once I uh, sort everything out, if you uh, still want to trade, we can talk about it. I do a lot of my extras end up going in the custom booster packs. But all right, last one. Can we get lucky? Yes! 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 Oh, dang it. We're short one freaking card. Dang it. What are we short? What card is it? Go back. Go back. What card? Who posted that? It was right here. Some back on the side. Uh, Goss Glossifleur. Darn it. Glossifleur. Okay. We almost ended today with the entire set, which would have been great. I thought that they just put random cards in the rest of these, but clearly they're not that random because we got a lot of Synesties. We got a lot of Q fans. So it's probably set, but I'm going to put these in my common box. Those will just go in random customs at some point or when I, if I make more donations for kids. Okay, so I'm short one card. One card. Um, look how many Pikachus I got. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I'll start giving those away like... Uh, I wish I would have known that. I would have opened this ahead of time and I could have put these hollows as um, in the tins that I made for the kids. Let me go ahead and just penny sleeve all of these so that, so that I can protect them. I love that glare. I know. So these are all reprint cards. That's what everyone's saying. It's weird that they kept the same numbers on the cards from the set. I th Or no, I don't know. Oh, these are the promo. Oh, that's a promo code. I see. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. Sorry. How many? Ah, uh, 41 minutes and we haven't done anything. Ah, well, it wouldn't be a normal stream if that if I hadn't done that. You know, right? Isn't that right? It'd be abnormal. Okay. So let's talk about today and let's let's uh, move along. Sorry, sorry for uh, making that longer than it should have been, but yes, put those, I might have to, so now these are no longer gonna fit in my binder though, so I need to figure that out, but I will figure that out and I will do something about it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put my website live. Um, let me pop the chat out, pop out, pop out, pop out, that guy. That guy said, why did I get typed out? That was so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Okay. So I usually, the past few times what I've done is like put up the battles first and then put up things. But I think I'm just going to open everything at the same time. And then we'll just do what we did last time. Like whenever the battle fills, we'll take a pause and then we'll do the battles. So let me tell you guys what I have in stock and then you guys can know. And again, I don't expect to sell out this time because I didn't, I put uh, more stuff online. So, um, you know, just, but I don't, I think certain things might sell out because I think certain things are more popular than that. So here we go. I've got 36 custom booster packs. There is a hit in every one of these packs. And if anyone gets either just a V card or just a, uh, like a V max, not the full art ones, but whatever, then they'll also get a McDonald's pack just to be nice. Cause I, I, sh I just don't have enough. I actually didn't have enough duplicates to make each pack really, really, really good. So if you only get one hit and it's not like a baby shiny or something really good, like an amazing or something, then you'll get a McDonald's pack. There's four packs that will also get an additional pack of shining fates in there. Um, I have eight champions path. I put extra on there so that if anybody pulls the three cards that I need and wants to trade these, we can. Um, I did one tin of Hidden Fates. I haven't put Hidden Fates on a while because I don't have... Oh my God, Hidden Fates is so expensive right now. It's terrible. Um, I'm going to put the pack battle. So remember the pack battle, this is the more expensive one. It's $30. Um, we're going to do first round, Shining Fates. Second round, Vivid Voltage. Third round, Shining Fates. Winner gets um, a pack of Shining Fates plus... 
uh, the EV V Max promo, or uh, if you want like a Charizard V promo, we can do that. Whatever, if you already have the EV, um, and the runner up will get just a constellation pack. I'm gonna do six burning shadows, eight eight cosmic eclipse. Do I even have eight? I didn't realize I put eight. I do have eight. So eight cosmic eclipse. Um, that's a lot of cosmic eclipse. Uh, Cosmic is hell of expensive right now too. Four Crimson, eight Darkness Ablaze, 12 Shining Fate. So I'm gonna open up two tins just for you guys. Um, eight Sword and Shield, base four of Breakpoint. I'm really wanting somebody to pull that red Gyarados. And then six Evos packs. I don't have any Vivid Voltage unless you, if you guys really want it, I have one more booster box that I can open. Um, but it's the last booster box that I have, so. Um, so if you guys really want it, I can totally open that and we can go for that. But I didn't put it up right now. Um, but I know a lot of you guys are collecting Vivid and like Vivid. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and make the store live. And like I said, everything's going to be on there. So whenever, um, the battle fills, if it fills, then we'll just go for it. If it doesn't fill, um, I would probably jump in and just take all the spots that didn't fill unless nobody, well, let's say we need at least three people. How about that? We need at least three people to get into the battle and then we'll run it either way. And I'll just take the other five spots. If um, I'm never sure, I'm never quite sure. <coughs> I'm never quite sure how the battles are gonna do, especially ones like this. But man, if you guys saw the one time we did this, there was a ton of hits. Now I can't guarantee that for this one, obviously, because it really just depends on, um... Michelle, wait a second. What is this? Oh no, you got, oh, Michelle, did you ask me to ship your cards? I actually didn't. Were you a ship or a hold? Uh-oh. Oh, you're a hold. Oh, thank God. I saw that and was like, what? Oh, I see. I didn't fulfill it because it has shipping on it. Hold on. Let me just fill the pack so I don't get confused. Okay. So that, I think the website's live. Um, it's nerdynoob.com. Is it live? I don't have my keyboard. Can you guys see it? I should have opened, sorry, I should have opened up my website while I was opening up other things, my bad. Did you get any Shining Fates premium boxes? I just hell overpaid for, what pre, are you talking about the dragon? Ugh. No, because I was stubborn. I had an opportunity to, to get one on GameStop, but I was stubborn and I was like, oh. I don't want to pay $50 for a box that only has seven packs. And then actually, to be honest, I think I did just pre-order one and, or not pre-order, but buy one. They're like 90. They're, no, I don't think I paid 90. Maybe it was like 80 something. I really like the promos in those boxes though. There's two of them. There's the Golbat and the Dragapult. I think I got one of each. I can't remember. I can't remember. Ooh, Gemma. B, but not old Gemma B, new Gemma B, just got three Evos. What's the website link? It's W, here, let me get my keyboard. Sorry, my laptop is like connected right now. Uh, www.nerdynoob.com. Oh, sorry, it's all caps. I didn't mean to yell, sorry. Thanks, Rashawn. <laughs> Oh, Rashawn gave you a better link because it goes directly to the live stream item. So use that one. Don't use mine. Wow, look, I have a crown on my head on the phone. Weird. I've never seen that. Okay. While we do that, should we look at this thing? <laughs> so apparently this is something that you can use to check your centering on your cards before you turn them in. And then they give you little tidbits and basically you want your centering to be in the bold. Now, I don't fully know how to use this. I don't fully understand I only kind of understand. So basically you track, you you line up your card. I don't know if you're supposed to do this with the top loader, but I'm going to. And then you figure out where the border ends. So like, I'm gonna do the top first. So let's say the top, so see like the top here is at two and the bottom is at one. So that's two and one. So in theory, this card actually is not well centered. On the, on the sides, it's like, well, it's like one and a half, that the sides are very well centered, but the top actually looks kind of heavy unless I'm not lining this up properly. 
two and one. Yeah, so the top is heavy. And then you do the back. The top looks really heavy in the back. The top on the, let me move this over. The top on the back is at like in between two and three. And on the bottom, it's at two. So it's definitely top heavy. It's hard to see on the back. Uh, I think that the back though is somewhat centered at two, two and two. So like from right to left, two and two is 50-50. But from top to bottom, it's like two and one, so it's not. I don't know. Um, I paid like $75 and a lot more of the Crobat boxes are for sale. And they seem slightly cheaper. I'll have to take a look. I haven't really looked all that hard. So yeah, if I graded, if I got this graded, it most likely wouldn't come back a 10 because it's not the best centering. Although centering's only one bit about it. The edges look, I think the edges look pretty good on that one. I got this from a break. I asked, I was hunting for the Charizard. The corners are kind of not rounded. That's an Evo situation. There's one white dot there and a little bit of whitening on the corners here. So this would probably not get a 10. It'd probably get, I don't know. I don't know what it would get, but it's not a 10. Okay. So we'll see if the centering tool actually is used by me. Who knows? Okay, what are we doing? Let's take a look. Let's show, oh, actually, let me go get, I, I printed out new battle sheets. Hold on, I gotta get them though. I forgot to get them. New battle sheets, new battle sheets. Boom, boom, bam. Boom, 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 bam. Yeah. We can't be janky here. We're not janky here, although look, ooh, my toner's getting broken. Uh-oh. I'll have to take a look at that. Okay, let me put these right here. Let me move this so it's out of the way. Oops. Ooh, everything's falling down. Bueno. All right. Okay, so let me start filling this out. What's the date today? 3-7-21. And we're just going to do one battle today, as of right now. We'll see. Okay. Okay, I don't know about your hair, but I'm addicted to opening packs. Me too, Michelle. Me too. Ugh, it's terrible. Um, yeah, pack battles are fun to watch. And these, this specific pack battle is really fun to watch. <clears throat> it's very intense. Okay, let me go ahead and take a look. I Let me see what the orders look like. I haven't looked. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we got 17 new orders. Very cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Where, how come it's not? Refresh, 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 refresh. All right, how do I... Let me move this so I can see what we have. Let me make my chat. It's been a, I think I should just buy it. So this is this TV right here. I don't want to show the names. This TV right here, um, it's what I use for my work monitor. Like I'll do a dual monitor side of my laptop and this, but I work downstairs right now. And so every weekend I have to carry this TV upstairs. I probably should just get an extra TV so I don't have to do that. But I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be working from home. Okay, so what, how do, oh, I need to move this so I can see what people got. Let's see, move this. And we got a couple of people who got shipping. So if you buy shipping today, I'll probably, I'll, I'll try to have you ship sometime this week. If you don't want me to ship right away, just let me know and I'll hold. But if I don't hear from you, I'm gonna put you in the ship box, okay? All right, are you gonna upload the rest of your Vlogmas? Hopefully, I was just looking at that. You know what I was watching last night? Oh my gosh, I was texting Amy and laughing about it because, um, let me see, hold on, let me show you guys. It's so funny. The uh, It's the video, okay, you guys remember, first of all, it was so addicting and I don't know why I was so addicted to watching it, but I ended up sitting here for like half an hour, half an hour. I, why is my phone stuck on? Oh, there we go. For half an hour, I was literally watching like vlog videos. And where's this one? It's, is it this one? This is me. 
and I, I'm talking about like pillows, the pillows. Remember the pillows, the little orange pillows? And like Amy was like, those aren't pillows. Oh, watch this. This is me winning the jackpot. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Boom! Yeah! Yeah! I like was like watching these. This is where I tell her like, And then I say like, oh, I think Amy might be right. That sucks. Anyways, I was like watching me playing arcade video games and I was dying. I miss it so much. I miss Dave and Buster so much. Oh, it's hard. Okay, let's start it off. Jay-Z starting us off with the first spot in the pack battle. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, we're two away from at least definitely running it. So let's see, J, Z, G, and this is order number 20, 30. All right, next, Chelsea coming in. Chelsea grabbing two Hidden Fates packs, of course. Actually, Chelsea, I thought you were, oh yeah, 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 you jumped to Hidden Fates, okay. So we got four total on the market today. Let's go ahead and get this. I miss Dave and Buster so much, so, so much. Chelsea, I think I shipped you. You usually get shipping right away. Yeah? You know what I might run out of today, actually, is these teen bags. I don't know if I have any more left. Let me look really quick. I think I might have used them all. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, I've got... They're not actually teen bags. They're graded cards and bags. I got one more pack. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is everyone saying in here? Dang, battle sold. Oh, the battle sold out. I don't know what's your packs. Pack orders from the same Michelle finally caught it live. Fina, are you going to upload the result? Yeah. Uh, Susan says battle. Sorry. So Susan was the one who won this this specific battle last time. Evening. Ellie. L. L. Ellie. Miss Dave and Busters and Miss Dave and Busters. Which Dave and Busters did you go to? Uh, there's one in Concord. Uh, it's sold out. I think you'll be running it. Round one was my go-to. I miss round one too. Oh, I was watching videos of round one when I was, do you guys remember? I think it was Maddie's birthday and it was me. It was me, Chris, and, um, it was me, Chris. I actually might have enough to do another battle. I we'll we'll talk. Let's talk about it. Let's see how this next one goes. But it was me, Chris, and uh, Maverick. And do you guys remember that video? We were at round one, and we were trying to get, like, that watermelon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We were trying to get that watermelon and plushie. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Chelsea, I don't think you have a bag, so I'm making you another bag. I might be mistaken, but I also don't want to search too hard, to be honest. Being a little bit lazy here. Stuart is in the house, Stuart. I absolutely, I don't know if Finn is with you or if he's sleeping. Can you tell Finn that I absolutely love his TikToks? I love, I don't go on TikTok every day, but when I go on it, I love like looking, like catching up with um with the TikToks that I missed. And like, he's getting really good at his TikToks. He's getting really, compared to like when he first started, he's definitely um, doing really well. Okay. Um. What, Kenesha, your Dave and Buster's is open? I'm so jealous, I'm so jealous. Ugh. Okay, Chelsea, here we go. You're starting, us as a, you're starting us off with the openings with our hidden fates. Three, four. Yeah, and then like, I won like the strawberry cat or something. Oh. I don't know what you got. You got something though. It's shiny. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. You got a double hit. You got a baby shiny in K and, oh, you get the Raichu GX. Okay, so you came in just hot now, Chelsea, and you pulled a double banger hidden fates. Now in shining fates, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty used to seeing that. In hidden fates, it happens, but it's not as common, I feel like, as it has been in shining fates. So pulling two hits in that pack, that's nice. Very nice. All right. Hey, Seth Moby, can you let me know what packs I get or save the stream? I can't watch right now. I Can you let me know what packs I get or save the stream? The stream always gets saved, so check out my channel. when, um, Whenever you have time, you can come back on this channel and take a look, okay? All right, here we go. Two, three, four. Chelsea, I feel like 
it's been so hit or miss for you. So I, I do hope that these are hits. Now these all did come from the tin and the tin has been known to have a couple cold packs. So I don't know, this might be one of them. Yes, oh, but you got a Mew, which is very cute. It is a non-hollow Mew, um, but it's nice. I'll sleeve that up for you. Okay, Chelsea, you pulled the Raichu GX and the Inkay Baby Shiny. I don't know if you already have those. Hidden Fates is daunting as well. Not as daunting as Shiny Fates because there's only, I think, about 90, what was it 94 Baby Shinies um, compared to Shiny Fates, which is 122. But there you go, Chelsea. I'm going to put you in the box and, uh, you know, you do your thing with, uh, with shipping how you please. All right. Uh, Dina is up next. Dina grabbed a spot in the battle. Ooh, Dina's getting spot number two. Dina K and that's order number 2032. Okay. And also got two custom boosters. Dina, do you have a bag on the table right now? I don't think so. So let's grab you a bag. Oh, no worries, Chelsea. No worries. Hey, good first pack that you got a double banger. All right. Dina K. You guys, can I tell you guys, if you guys um at some point get shipping for me moving forward, I got new stickers. So I have the same stickers, but I also got some stickers, and I think they're from the the Galar time frame, and so there's like new Pokemon, and it's cool. I was really excited. Okay, you got two customs. Now, I mixed these up. I mixed them up as best as I could. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open them like I open a normal custom, uh, a normal booster box. So we're gonna go left column and then right column, okay? So you're taking two customs. Let's see what you got. Good luck. These are really random, by the way. I really tried hard, because I know you guys like when I'm creative. I tried really hard last night. I was literally doing this for hours. All right, here we go. First pack. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think this is gonna be? I did pull, um, sorry, a reverse hollow shining. Uh, this is from Shining Fates, I think. All right, you got the Morpeko VMAX. Now here's what I'm gonna do for you. This is considered a cold hit. So if you get a, a VMAX like this, so there's like a Kramer one, I think, or if you just get a V card. So I'm also gonna add in, I don't know if I actually have enough. Uh oh, well, I'm gonna add in a Dollar Tree pack for you. Um, Dina, would you like me to open this right now or would you like me to just put it in your bag? You let me know. And then let's go ahead and do your second pack. Here we go. Oh, oh, no. Oh, pulling that full art, Rillaboom V, shiny, nice. Okay, I hope you guys like these. I really did try hard. It's hard because I don't have as many extras right now because I used them the last time, but I should be getting a few more in from all the pack breaks. All right, Dina says open it. Let's see what, we'll open it backwards so you get surprised. Oops, I tore it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put these with your rare card just because they're different. And your hollow is, uh, you got a hollow litten. All right, cool. Not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead, these are your McDonald's cards, your uh, regular rare and your reverse hollow. So let's go ahead and we'll just leave those up for you. All right, and so with that, you got a Rillaboom V Full Art and a Morpeko V Max, and then we got you that Litten. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, Dean, I'm gonna put you, oops, back in the box. In front of David. All right, who's next? Gemma B, but new Gemma. New Gemma is jumping in, let's see. Gemma B D. There you go. Um, with order number um, two zero three three, and Gemma B D is grabbing. Would you grab three packs of evolutions? All right. I wish you the best of luck. Evolutions. 
Evolutions has been a little bit cold ever since we pulled that last Zard. It's been a little bit on the colder end, but that's pretty normal. Let's see what we can get you. Uh, you got a green code card. Still have that chance at a Zard, though. You got the Charmeleon. Charmeleon. My sister's texting me. Doduo. Oh, you got the Pikachu. Machop. Ah, you got Misty's Determination, Reverse Hollow, and a Mewtwo Regular Rare. Not too bad. I'll give these separate sleeves right now. The Reverse Hollows and the Regular Rares. I, I don't know. Evis is just one of those sets I think is going to continue to be more expensive as we move forward. Ooh, ooh, Gemma BD pulling that white code card. That is what we like to see. Wait, what are we doing? One, two, three. All right, here we go. What are you going to get? Code cards from Evos because it means you get a hit. Now, I think you got like a, like a GX or something or an EX. But what's your reverse hollow? Oh, not there. Uh, you got the electrode reverse hollow. And, oh, nice. You got the full art Pidgeot EX. Is this a different artwork? I feel like this looks different than what I've seen. Now I want to look. Let's see. Can I, do I have a um, card list pricing for something? I need to get on. Yes. Okay, hold on. I don't think that they have alternative art, but I feel like this one looks different than the one that I remember seeing, but I, that could just be me. I don't see a lot of, of these evolution cards. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is this? This is the Pidgeot EX. Okay, so this is just the full art. And again, these cards, I'll be honest, like this is only going for $4.44 raw, but it's still a really cool card and it's textured, which is very nice. So there you go, okay. The other good hits from this set are just the hollows. Okay, that might be what I'm thinking of. I swear it looked different, but I wasn't sure. All right, here we go. You guys, look, I got a garbage can. Instead of using a box for the garbage, I bought a can. I, and you know why I bought this? It's because I went to Target one day, and I had all this stuff, and I was, like, really adamant, like, I don't need a cart, and I don't need a basket. So I went, and then I ended up buying a ton of food, but I couldn't hold it all. Like, I was trying to carry because I'm one of those stubborn people, so I tried to carry it. And then I, I couldn't carry it anymore, so I went to the this section and I grabbed this garbage can and I put all my food in it, and then I was I felt obligated to buy the garbage can. But I was like, it'll be fine. It'll, I'll have good juice for it. Um, why did I call you Gemma BD or GB? Now I'm confused with all the letters. Um, it says share the code card, so we'll share those in one second. Let me just go ahead and see what you got in this pack. You got a green code card in this one. So let's hope that your reverse hollow is gonna bring us some fire. Ah, oh, no, a super potion. Oh no, and a regular rare electrode. Not what we wanna see. But there you go, you did pull that Pidgeot EX. Um, and then let's share these code cards for everybody. All right, here we go. This is on behalf of Gemma. So please make sure you say thank you to her. And Gemma, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and put your cards into this bag. Let's see if they fit, and then we'll go ahead and move on. Oh, congratulations, Fernando, Louis Fernando, on your Skyla pull. I just pulled another Skyla as well. Skyla is a very expensive card, which was very nice. So I'm hoping to either use that again for my um, customs or even for trades, although I don't. there's not much I need to trade anymore. But maybe trade things for um, Vivid Voltage. What do you have in here, Gemma? Oh, you are you are collecting. You are collecting the Evos. I see. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna separate. I don't know if this is gonna fit, but usually when you put the top loaders in the middle of the bag, they fit a little bit better. Yes, because the bag is just a little bit wider in the middle. All right, Gemma. That's going back into the box for you. Have you gotten Pures from the Shining Fate set? I bought it. Yes. <laughs> Tano popping in, grabbing one spot in the battle. Tano, you're going to have spot number three. How are you? Am I saying your name right? I hope so. I just really like calling you Tano. Is it Tano? 
Why do we always go through this? Tano. Okay. I like always never can get it. Okay, so Tano is jumping in the battle. But Tano's also grabbing. Tano, do you have a bag on the table right now? Or did I ship you? I think I might have shipped you. Tano, 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 Tano. I don't see you. Um, I'm just going to jump to a big bag for you, Tano, because uh, you... Tano. Tano. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not... <laughs> I was supposed to remember that. Okay, okay, good. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, I just have to remember, not Thanos. Tano is not Thanos. That's how I told myself I was going to remember. That's so funny. Okay, Tano coming in. Order number 2034. Tano got, oh, four packs of Shining Fates, which I didn't take out of the tin, so we'll have to do that. And you got four customs, so I'm going to take four. One, two, three, four. And then let me grab a tin. I opened a tin last night because I needed an Eldegoss card for one of my customs because I like put together an Eldegoss pack that I was really proud of. Um, but I didn't have, uh, I didn't have any, I didn't have any cards left. So let me put this in the box here. I don't have a Shining Fates tag, but that's okay. All right. Uh -huh. Grabbing four packs of Shining Fates. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and check out. I like having your guys' name in the background, so when I have to go back and search, I can find them. Oops, I'll move those. All right, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's check out your custom packs first, and then we'll open up your Shining Fates pack. Here we go. Pack number one. Looks like a normal pack. Oh, is it a normal pack? See, this card didn't come from Shining Fates because I just wanted to go with it. Ah, you got the Galarian Meowth. Ooh, and a Hollow Indeedy. You got the Galarian Meowth Baby Shiny. Very nice. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up for you. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, second pack. What am I doing right here? Why, why is that on there? Here we go. What'd you get? Shinx Reverse Hollow and a Crobat V and another pack of Shiny Fates. This is actually a really good card right now, guys. So don't sleep on this card. Um, ooh, Tano, look at you. All right, so you got two hits and then you're gonna get an extra pack of Shining Fates. Congratulations. So let's go ahead and actually let's keep going. Let's open up these last two. See what you got. Oh, Tano. Oh, geez, pulling the fire. You got the Ditto V full art, Shiny. I like this one because he's so happy. I like the VMAX a little bit better. I wish they would have made him smiling in the VMAX version because I really like the, I like how big he is in the VMAX version, but uh, that one's super cute. Okay, here we go. Pack, this is custom packs. So we're still on the custom packs, number four. Oh, geez, Tano. And a reverse hollow thievel pulling the floor. Send a scorch V. Okay, Tano. Coming in and just like blowing it out of the water there. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and we still have to open his pack. So let's go ahead and reset a little bit. Let me, um, let me, oh, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up. These are your uh, reverse hollows, hollow rares and all that. Let's go ahead and reset this pile so that we can make some room. All right, we're going to open up five Shining Fates for uh, Tano. Let's, let's pull this Shining Fates, the one that you just won out of your custom. So this came out of a different tin, just as a heads up. This came out of the Eldegoss, uh, the Eldegoss tin that I needed. One, two, three, four last night. All right, here we go, Tano. So this one has a chance. These packs obviously have a chance of a Zard. The customs don't, if you weren't sure, because I don't have an extra. Oh, you got that baby shiny Thwacky. Very nice, very nice. 
That's the one thing I like about this because there's so many cards. There's so much chance of pulling hits. All right, here we go. Now we're on to the four packs that you just purchased. Let's go ahead and see what you got. That's what makes uh, using these packs for battles so much fun because they're pretty, they're pretty like heavy on the hits. Some, some not as much as others, of course, but sorry, let me put this a little bit centered. All right, Tano. Ah, you got that reverse hollow snom and that hollow rare thievel. So that was a cold pack. Well, it wasn't a cold pack because you got a hollow. You're actually not guaranteed a hollow in every pack. They might as well have done that though, but they do have regular rares. Would be interesting to use champion's path in a battle because there's always a hollow at least. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Oh, no, you got the Reverse Hollow Eldegoss and a Zerud Regular Rare. Okay, so these are coming in a little bit on the colder ends. That's true. They can't all be heavy hitters or else it would just be... Although, like, Shining V, Shining Star V all had, like, a hit, but it did it did lower the value of the V cards. Not that these... I mean, the V cards in this set are very low anyways also, so I don't know. They probably could have done that. No! Oh! I've never pulled this for myself, but I've pulled this for others. Ooh, nice. This is a really good card. Other than the Skyla, I want to say this is the second best full art trainer that you can pull. Tano, nice. Nice. Oh, my gosh, Tano. Look at your hits. Okay, last pack. Oh, you got the full art Pokey Kid. I got lucky if you guys saw a TikTok. Although somebody said that I repacked that pack, which I thought was funny, because I got like a full art card, a full art shiny, and a, and a Skyla, which was like super crazy. I was very excited about that. Okay, Tano, can you get a hit in your last pack? Let's see. Oh, nice! You got a Sizzlepeed Baby Shiny. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tano. Nice. Ah, oh, you did good. You did good. Okay, let's go ahead and sort through these. I'm glad I gave you a big bag. See, I, I, I what did I call I was going to say forecasted, but I didn't forecast. I just projected because I could see your order. All right, you are pulling with you. Nice. Okay, you got the baby shiny sizzlepeed. You got the Scorch V Full Art Shiny. You got the Ditto V Full Art Shiny. You got the Crobat V. You got the Galarian Meowth Baby Shiny. You got the Pokey Kid Full Art. And you got the Thwacky Baby Shiny. Oh my gosh. Tano, are you trying to collect this whole set as well? And if you are, I wish you the best of luck. It's definitely, it's a fun challenge. It's challenging, but it's a fun one. But it's definitely challenging. I'm being extremely challenged right now trying to get this whole set. All right, congratulations, Tano. Very nice, very, very nice. I'm gonna um, put your big bag here. In the big box, in the big. Yes, well, I wish you the best of luck, Tano. It's, it's, it's fun, it's rewarding. I can't wait till I'm done. I'm gonna feel really good about myself. All right, thank you, Tano. Coming back in is Matt. The guys decided that they did not want to let the women come in here and take on all the battles because, um, they're really representing today. Matt C, 2035, is going to take spot number four in the battle. Yes, Louis Fernando, I have the whole set of the McDonald's ones. I bought way too many packs to get those sets. There's a total of 50 cards. I bought way too many packs. I, I don't think I understood fully like how that was going to work, and I bought way too many. All right, Bella, jumping in. Bella, did I ship you? I don't think I did, but I don't see a bag for you. Bella, did I ship you? Uh, all right, I don't see a bag for you, Bella. You're missing Snivy and Squirtle. Oh, wait, you said you can ship. That means that I have a bag for you. Hold on. Uh, let's look. Scott, so you can show my bag after today, by the way. I remember I put a hold on it for this. Oh, shoot. Gosh. Did I accidentally ship you? So, do you have a big bag or a little bag? What do you have? Hmm. Bella. 
I might need to look in, um, I might need to look in my, in the accounts to see if I shipped you. I might have shipped you for some reason. I don't know, because I don't see a, maybe I'm not looking hard enough, hold on. It goes from A to C. Hmm. Okay, how about we do this? I'm going to make a, myself a note. I was going to say a mental note, but we all know I'm not going to remember that. So let me go ahead. I'm going to make you, um, let me make you a new bag, and then I'm going to take a look at your account, because I might have shipped you for some reason. And um, so let's just, just so we can keep moving, I'm going to go ahead and make you a new bag. And then I thought I had shipped you, but um, I don't know that for a fact. So let's go ahead and make your bag now, and then let's see what you got, and then we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so Bella grabbing one custom booster pack, Shining Fates Edition. Here we go, Bella. Oh, can I just show you guys this? Because this is actually one of the packs I made. Sorry. Okay. So you're getting, I don't know what's actually in here, but you're getting, these are all regular rares. And I didn't have that many regular rares left. So you just get a mixture between Yanmega, Celebi, Yanmega, Celebi, Yanmega, Celebi, Yanmega, Dotler, baby shiny, and a Decidueye hollow rare. <laughs> I didn't have very many, um, cause I'll, and a lot of the breaks, a lot of times they don't actually sh send you the regular rare card. So I didn't actually have a lot on hand. And then you got the Decidueye hollow rare. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to resleeve these for you. And then Bella, let me take a look. Um, I'll take a little bit. I'll take a look after this or when we have a break and see if I can figure out if I shipped you or not. Okay. Um, all right. Who is next? Uh, Dilcia, Dilcia, are you new? You sound new. Grabbing a spot in the battle, nice. All right, hopefully you've seen the battles and you know, oops, and you know what to expect because if not, it's, you know, it's a little bit daunting. I was coming in at number five with order number 2037. Oh, D, that's you. Okay, okay, sorry, I didn't, I wasn't sure. It's so hard that they're not always connected to the usernames that you guys have because I'm so used to saying. Okay, Amanda is up next. What did Amanda grab? Amanda, Amanda, I don't see a bag on the table for you, so I'm going to make you a new one. Amanda's grabbing four packs today. Amanda, I'm going to call you Amanda FS. You have order number 2038. Can you give, oh, Amanda likes to, that's right, okay. Um, oops, sorry. That's okay, Amanda, I'll just do that. Okay, Amanda says, got four packs, can give one to each of the people after me. Amanda, you are so dope sauce. You are so dope sauce. So let's see what we've got. Amanda, you are, you are amazing. Okay, so Amanda's donating four packs right now. She's, oh, and she's donating good packs too. Um, she's donating a pack of Sword and Shield Base, a, a pack of Darkness Ablaze, a pack of Crimson Invasion, and a pack of Burning Shadows. Oh my gosh. Marco, I'm doing well. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix these all up. And there's four people behind Amanda. So let's see who's getting lucky today. David, you're getting lucky. Stephen M., you're getting lucky. Michelle, you're getting lucky. And Maria, you're getting lucky. Um, put a comment section on your website. I'm sorry for wasting your, all your bags. Please. <laughs> I will see if I can do that. Man, I'm not, I'm not very good at the website thing, but I, it's because I haven't spent all the time. But thank you. Okay, so Amanda, you are amazing. You are absolutely amazing. So let's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move these. Um, I'm mixing these up. And then I'm just going to flip this around, and then we're just going to go from the top to the bottom. So here we go. David E., you're going to get the Darkness of Blaze. Please make sure you guys say thank you to Amanda. Michelle, you're grabbing a pack of the Crimson Invasion. 
No, I'm sorry, 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 I'm
from Amanda. All right, Michelle, you are getting this. Oh, you're gonna need another bag, I think. Um, you can give my code cards away, perfect. Not in a tail, but up in your head, just like a Pokemon. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Um, not on top of my head like that. I don't ever, I can't have a high pony that high. Okay, Michelle, this is your first pack. Let's open this first. This is from Amanda for you, so let's see. Oh, no, one, two, three, four. We are pulling a lot of green code cards right now. Not the business, but you got this cute, look at this cute Morpeko. Oh, what? Okay, Morpeko might be my spirit animal because I didn't realize this, but is Morpeko just like an eating Pokemon? Like Morpeko likes to eat? All right, what'd you get? You got a pack of Crimson Invasion. You got a pack of Breakpoint. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. You got one spot in the pack battle. Ooh, Michelle. Michelle coming in with spot number seven. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Michelle. Let's see. And this is, again, for order number 2041. Oh, there's only one spot left in the battle. And you got a pack of Burning Shadows. Ooh, Michelle, let's see how you did. All right, here we go. We get hangry. Give away my code cards. There's one code card. Oh my gosh, hangry. That sounds exactly like me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Any changes? I need to watch the show more because I don't know. All right, oh, sorry. Green code card, not the business. We need some, uh, we need some, some white code cards out of these packs because this is not going to work. Here we go. We have a break point. Are you doing a second battle? Susan, I actually might do a second battle. If you guys are interested, I didn't think anyone was going to sign up for the first battle, but I do think I have another ETB downstairs and I still have a couple of the, um, the sleeves. Break points X. Is break point X1? Yeah, three cards. Do you guys want me to put up another battle? Sorry, I don't get to see these cards very often, so I want to look through them. Palpitoad Reverse Hollow and a Drapion Regular Rare. Okay. I love the different look of those. All right. Michelle. Do you know? <laughs> I know I didn't realize that was a thing. Now I'm like, oh, more, more, more. I want to call him uh, more Pico, but it's more Peco. Oh, no. You guys, what is this? I'm sorry, Michelle. Oh, you got a Porygon Reverse Hollow. But you also pulled all the green code cards. So let's go ahead and first get these cards into your bag. I'm going to add in, I am going to add in a Pikachu Hollow for you. I don't have that many of these, but we'll just keep adding them as we do. Michelle, I feel like you've purchased more cards. How come the cards are, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put these separate so they fit because you have a top loader in here. What'd you get in your top loader? Oh, that Togekiss VMAX. Look at you, Michelle. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. There you go, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, let me know if you want me to ship or hold. I'm going to still hold you, but you just let me know whenever you're ready, and then we'll unhold you, okay? All right. Who is next? It's Movia. Grabbing the last spot in the pack battle and grabbing a pack of the Burning Shadows. Um, one thing though, guys, if I do, if I do a, another battle, I don't know if we'll be able to do the ultimate battle. So the battle is officially full. I don't know if we'll be able to do the ultimate battle because I don't know if I have. Let me. I can look. Let me look. Or maybe we have to do it with a different pack of like a different type. Oh yeah. Uh, you can ship. Perfect. Okay. Um, put you in the ship box. Oh, we are. Um, just the hits. Um, I'm going to put this order number, even though 2042 donation from Amanda. Oh. Just so I can track your order numbers. Okay. So let's go ahead. The battle is officially full. Um, if you guys want another battle, let me look to see what we can use for the head-to-head. -head. No! Amanda, thank you so much, though. No matter what, green code cards or not, 
Thank you so much for donating these packs to everybody. That is very kind of you, very thoughtful, and I'm sure very much appreciated by everybody. Now, Marie just has just hit, so I'm going to put a reverse holo on rare in her bag and put her back in the box. And let's see. Let me refresh this really quick. Um, for those of you who bought uh, things after right now, um, we are going to do a battle, so it's going to be a little bit of time. Uh oh, there's a lot of orders. Okay, what was that? That was so Jessica Barker. I'm, oops, sorry, Jessica B. Sorry, Jessica. Um, I'm gonna hold off on so from 2020, 2043. So let's go ahead. Maria, Steph, could you please ship? Of course, I can. Let me take your hold tag off and put you into the box. All right, you guys ready for battle time? Are you guys ready for battle time? I'm I'm ready. Um I'm ready for battle time. Oh. Um how about this? Let's do this battle and then when we're done with this battle, I'll put up uh I can just change the number of spots on this, okay? I know the Pokey gods don't they're not fans of Maybe it's me. It could be just me. They're not fans of me right now. All right. I still don't have another card. I need to go to the card shop and get another um, <laughs> another card holder. So Pot of Glory is going to be this box right here. <laughs> you guys ready for this? All right. We have our Shining Fates ETB. The winner of this battle, remember this is a high stakes battle, is going to leave here with one pack of Shining Fates and the uh, EV VMAX, or if you already have the VMAX, I have, um, I think I have a Charizard V that I can give you instead if you would rather have that. That's the uh, Champion's Path. Um, I'm, I might put another, okay, should I put in, there's enough of you guys asking for these uh, battles. How about we do this? Here's what I'm gonna do, hold on. I am going to, is everyone listening right now? If you're interested in the battle, if you're interested in another battle, it'll be another Shining Fates battle. I don't, if we do head to head though, for the two winners, I don't think we're gonna be using Shining Fates packs because that's too expensive, but we can use something else. I am gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna put eight more spots back up for the for the battle. It's gonna be labeled battle number one, but just just go with it, okay? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing goes. If we can get at least three or four people in it, then we'll still run it and I'll just take the extra spots. Okay, so I am making the second battle. It's the high stakes battle with Shining Fates. I am making it live right now. There's only eight spots. Okay, so we're making it. Is everyone who, who's asking about it here? Susan, are you here? All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it live right now. So I just added eight spots. It is officially live. If you are interested in taking part in the second battle today, and these are high stakes battles, so this was Shining Fates and Vivid Voltage, you can go ahead and buy it now. If not, then no worries. Here is the uh, card on the table. We'll go ahead and put that in the uh, pot of glory right now. And let's go for it. Let's move this off the table. All right, you guys ready? So we are going to uh, mix these. We mix these, right? Yeah, for battles we mix. For battles we mix. For regular pack breaks we don't. So we're going to go ahead and mix these up. The pot of glory. Okay, we're going to mix these up. Is that good mixing? Okay. So this is going to be for round one and for round championship round finals. Um, we have our four packs of Vivid. So we'll mix those up and open those when we get to it. And then uh, the winner will get to pick one of these packs. Oh, luckily, look, I have two perfect. So the first, actually, no, let's designate it now since we're going to have two battles. All right, here we go. Winner of the first pack battle is going to get the Toxtricity pack. So I'm going to put that over here to the side. And the winner of the second battle is going to get the Dragapult. So I'll put that over here for right now. All right, are you guys ready? Now, the first time we did this, it was crazy. I can't guarantee it's going to be that crazy again because it really just depends. It depends on the... 
It just depends on the ETBs, right? Some ETBs are harder than others, as Pokemon does. But there should be a decent number of hits here. Definitely at least four. You need at least four hits. If not, then we'll give you more hits. Here we go. Let's start it off. Sorry, that was kind of loud. All right, here we go. Jay-Z, you are starting us off on the left side with the Toxtricity Pack. And... Movia. You are starting us off with dead. You're starting us off on the right side with the Dragapult pack. Oh my gosh. This is so intense. This is these pack battles. This one specifically is so crazy with Shining Fates. It's so crazy. It is so crazy. Now, all code cards are white, so I'm not going to secretly hide the code cards because you guys already know it's white. My windows are closed. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for looking out. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go, Jay-Z, you ready? Your rare card and your reverse hollow card. Now we're doing same battle rules that we normally do, but obviously if, if we hit any uh, baby shinies, any ultras, anything else, then we're just gonna go to price to value. Oop, let me pop that up actually. Do, 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 do. Um, so there's two prices that we have to look at. There's the shiny fate vaults, and then there's also uh, just the regular shining fate set. So we're probably going to do a lot of battles with prices in this one. That's the, I guess that's the one like maybe not so great thing, I suppose, is that because there's so many hits that we usually just go into price point. We are going to be using Pokemon TCG for our price points. And we're going to do the, the price that's listed as the market price, okay? Just so that we're consistent. All right, here we go. Moia, this is you. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Rare card. Reverse holo card. There's so many cool cards you can get in this set. It's amazing. All right. Woo! Let's do it. You guys ready? All right. Here we go. Starting us off. Uh, let's start off with the... Uh, let's start off... Actually, this whole... All of the things... Let's start off with the rare card. Because there's... A, you know, the baby shinies live in the reverse holo. So we're going to start off, Jay-Z. Your rare card... For round number one is going to be, uh, you got a Dreadnought Regular Rare. Now, just because you got a Regular Rare, even if Ma uh, Maria gets like, let's say a Full Art Trainer or something, she doesn't automatically win because there's still potentially hits in the Reverse Hollows set. So, okay. Here we go. Maria, what we got? Your Rare card is, oh, you got a Boss's Order. <laughs> okay, so we got two Regular Rares to start us off. It's going to come down to this. Whew, here we go. Jay-Z, your reverse holo card is going to be... Oh, it's a Cramorant. Jay-Z, you got one of the cold, the cold packs. This isn't uncommon. We still need to know that because here's the thing. These are ties. So right now, if this is just a regular reverse holo as well, then we're going to go to the, the rarity of the reverse holo. So Cramorant is uncommon with the diamond. Maria... You need either, because uh, if we have to go to HP, you're going to automatically lose. So you need either a rare reverse hollow or a hit in order to move on. If not, then Jay-Z is going to move on. Here we go. Maria, your reverse hollow card is? It's a float soul. It's an uncommon. Oh, my God. We start off with two. We start off with two cold packs. And unfortunately, Maria, oh, my gosh, you are going to lose this because it's a tie. And we're going to go to the HP. And because you have a trainer, Jay-Z is going to take this first battle of round one. Ugh, that is unfortunate. I'm so sorry, Maria. Jay-Z, congratulations. You are moving on to the semifinals. Ooh, that was a little bit rough. I hope this is not a preview of what is to come in this ETB. That is for sure. That is for sure. Oh, man. Not how we want to start this off. That was a little bit cold, guys. I hope that, um, I'm sure Jay-Z was thinking like, oh, I'm out of this. And then he just got that, the Pokey Gods were in his favor just now. All right, here we go. Matt C, you pulled that Zard artwork on the left versus Dilcia D, also known as D, on the right with the Dragapult. So hopefully this Dragapult will be a little bit, a little bit more forgiving. I'm going to just break the packs instead of using scissors. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Matt, you got your rare card 
and you got your reverse hollow card. Dilcia. Here we go. You got your rare card and your reverse hollow card. Let's see it. Let's see it. Good luck to you both. Here we go. We're going to start with Matt C. And your rare card is, oh, you're pulling that Cinderace V card. Okay. So pulling our first ultra rare of the battle. That will go into the pot of glory at some point. Dilcia, your rare card is going to be, ah, uh, you got a regular Manaphy. So it's not over yet. Again, it comes down to, it's really coming down to the, uh, to both slots now. It's it's a little bit different than Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage was kind of like that, though, with the Amazing Rares. All right, here we go. Matt, your rare card is, or your reverse holo card, I'm sorry, is going to be, oh, no way. Matt, <laughs> Matt pulling that Amazing Rare Reshiram. Uh-oh. Okay. Dilsey, it's not over for you. We're definitely going into price points right now. Uh... So you just have to hope for something really good. Now, there could be a Zard. Now, remember, you guys, if a Zar gets pulled, we're not doing – we're going all the way through the end of the battle. So if you pull a Zard in the beginning rounds of these battles, it does not belong to you. It's going to belong to the winner. It could come down to a reverse hollow for all we know, which is kind of crazy but would be very exciting. Um, all right, let me just pull up the price guide just to be ready. Um, here we go. Dilcia. Your reverse holo card is going to be, oh, you got a baby shiny, a, a cinchino is what I like to call it. I don't know if that's what how you say it. All right. So I don't think it's looking great because this is not one of the more expensive baby shinies, but let's go ahead and jump to our price points. So here we go. Let me get my calculator. I have a feeling that Matt probably won this. We have the Reshiram Amazing Rare, and that's going for $8.98. Plus the Cinderace V card, which is going for $1.11. So it's not over yet. That's $10.09. Over here on the shiny, we're looking for the Cinchino. And is that that's going for $6.79. Unfortunately, with that, Matt, sorry, Dilcia. Matt is going to take the win on that one. That was a very, very good battle. Um, and Matt is slipping through. That that amazing rare Reshiram definitely, definitely did it for him. All right. Look, the box already has a bunch of hits now. See? That was only the first battle. All right. Here we go. Matt, moving on. You're going to face Jay-Z in the semis. Here we go. We're moving on. Oh, my God. This is crazy. This I think there's still going to be a good amount of hits in this. Moving on to the next, to the right side of the bracket, we've got Dina on the left side with Toxicity. And we have Michelle on the right side with Corviknight. I pulled, I don't remember what pack we pulled um, Susan's art out of, but mine came out of the Corviknight. And I will never forget that because I talked so much crap about him. And then I pulled the Zard. Literally right after I talked crap about him, I pulled the Zard. So he was laughing in my face for that. All right, Dina, one, two, three, four. Here we go. This is your pack. You have your rare card and you have your reverse hollow card. And Michelle, this is going to be your pack. Oh, look. Morpeko. Hello, Morpeko. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Your rare card and your reverse holo card. You guys ready? Dun, dun, dun. I need a drink. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. Dina, your rare card on the left side is going to be... <laughs> Professor's research, but the young version, not the old version. Regular rare. Michelle, your rare card is going to be. Oh, Michelle pulling that Crobat V Max. Technically not full art, but I like to call it full art because I don't know. Look, the art is taking up the full amount of the card. So full art. All right. Dina, you're still in this. We're going to start off with Michelle's reverse holo card since she's right now in the lead. So, Michelle, your reverse holo card is going to be... Ah, you got a reverse holo thievel. All right. So, hey, Dina, you're still in this. I don't know what this crowbat is worth, but you're still in it. Whew. 
here we go. Dina, your reverse hollow card is, it has to be something or else, or else Michelle's going to move on, is going to be, ah, uh, you got a common reverse hollow shink. So unfortunately with that, sorry, Dina, Michelle and her Crobat VMAX are going to be moving on to the next round. Congratulations, Michelle. Dina, I wish you the best of luck next time. Um, ooh, that was a tough one. These hits, I see, Shining Fates is just like Hidden Fates, where it's like icy, icy cold, or hot, hot, hot. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Let's keep it moving. Next, we have Tano pulling the Zard artwork versus David pulling the Dracopult. Mr. Randall on the right. All right. Woo! This is very, very intense. Very, very intense. Whew. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I can handle four, two of these in one day, but we're going to. If it filled, I don't know. All right, here we go. Tano? Tano? Tano. Sorry, I changed your name all of a sudden. Tano. Rare card and reverse hollow card. Tano, why can't I just remember it? Thanos, Tano, Tano, Tano. Uh, David, this is your Dracopo pack. One, two, three, four. All right. David, your rare card and your reverse hollow card. Who is going to move on to the semifinals and face Michelle? I don't know, but we're going to find out right now. Here we go. Tano, your rare card is going to be... Oh, it's a Zarude, my dude, regular rare. All right, David, your rare card is going to be a hollow frost moth. So here's the thing. If Let's say these were two cold packs and these are both going to be reverse hollows. Then David's going to win because his hollow rare frost moth is going to beat the regular rare Zarude. But let's, it's not over yet. So David, we're going to look at your reverse hollow card. David, your reverse hollow card is going to be... <gasps> You pulled a full art Phalanx V. Now, here's the good thing, Tano, for you, is that some of these full art cards actually aren't as valuable. So that's good news for you. Maybe not so good news for David. But, Tano, you still have to pull something decent that can compete against this Phalanx V. So now we're officially going into price points. Um, I can't, I don't know what this Phalanx V is worth, but I don't think it's worth that much. Phalanx V is worth $4.57. So Tano, you need something in here that's going to be worth more than $4.57. Tano, your reverse holo card is, uh, you got a reverse holo trap hinch. Sorry, Tano. Womp, womp, womp. So this ETB is not pulling out as many hits as I think we did last time. Um, but David, congratulations! You are moving on to the next round. You're going to face Michelle in the semis. Tano, I wish you the best of luck next time. And thank you so much for participating. All right, that's going into the box. So, so far, this box is still not bad. Um, not the best. It's not as good as it was, I would say, the last time. But let's let's just take a look. Let's take a look. All right, so these are going to be held. For right now, that's going to be for the finals. Now we're jumping to our Vivid. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, actually, these are all Pikachu. So I'm going to mix these up. And we're just going to open these in the order that we have them in, okay? So I'm going to put these back right here. All right, we're starting off with the left side of the bracket. Jay-Z, you are pulling the Pikachu artwork on the left. Now remember, um, these same rules apply except for... Uh, a common char or, or sorry, a regular rare Charizard beats a hollow or worse, and a reverse hollow Charizard beats a hollow or worse or a regular rare Charizard. Okay, all right, Matt, you're pulling the Zarude, my dude, artwork on the right. All right, let's see it. Now this one, because the code cards are colored, I will cut the tops, and I will take the code card off. Now these are from the sleeve, so we really don't know any pull rates or hit rates or anything. We're just going with it. One, two, three, four. We don't know if there's amazing rares on the table. We don't know. We don't know what's on the table, really. All right. Oh, but if, what if there was like a rainbow Pika? That would be crazy. 
that would make that $30 entry super worth it, especially if you won. Even if you didn't win, I feel like the chance of even getting that, it's like a one in eight chance. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. This is for Matt. That's your rare card. And there's your reverse hollow card. Uh, here we go. No worries, Kelly. Yeah, if you um, if it works out, you know, next time. Battles are really fun. They're really intense, but they're really fun. All right, here we go. We're going to start with the reverse hollow uh, slots because, I don't know, it's not because there's no baby, there's no shinies. There are amazing rares, but. All right, Jay-Z, your reverse hollow card is going to be. Ooh, ooh, Jay-Z got a bear scuda, which is a. Uh, it's a reverse hollow, but it's a rare reverse hollow. That's a very nice reverse hollow to pull. If you're going to pull a reverse hollow, rare is the way to go. Matt, hopefully you can get a rare one too. Matt, your reverse hollow is, oh, you got a common whooper. Okay, so Matt, you need to have a hit in here or else uh, Jay-Z is going to probably, is going to take this if these are the same. But let's see. Jay-Z, your rare card is going to be, Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my second best card from the Vivid Voltage set is Mr. Full Art Pikachu. Ooh, Matt, I don't know. It's not looking great for you. Beautiful card. A little bit left heavy. Beautiful. This card is what is this going for? I don't even I need to get I need to get I didn't oh, I didn't put the Vivid Voltage price point. Wow. Okay, whoever wins this battle, honestly, worth it. Uh, if you if you're winning the battle now, this card does not belong to Jay Z. It's probably gonna move him to the finals, but he's gotta win the finals in order in order to keep this card. Let's go ahead. Let me just really quickly. Oh, this card is hot, hot, hot. Seventy five dollars, seventy four dollars and eighty seven cents. Second best card behind the Rainbow Pikachu. Wow, we've never, I don't think we've ever pulled something this cool in a battle. Have we? I don't think so. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, Matt. It's not over. It, it might kind of be over. You're going to need the Rainbow Pikachu. It's the only thing that will beat this card. Matt, your rare card is, uh, you got a regular rare Shin Ninja. That unfortunately is not going to beat the Full Art Pikachu. And with that, Jay-Z, congratulations. You are moving on to the finals, and you have now made the Pot of Glory super, super hot. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you so much for participating. I always consider anybody who can get past the first round also a winner because I never can get past the first round in these dang battles. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be crazy. Who is in the running? And we still could technically pull a Zard from one of these packs. Tech, I mean, it, there's still a chance. It's unlikely, but there's a chance. All right, Michelle, this is going to be your pack on the left, and David E., your pack on the right. Who is going to face Jay-Z in the finals with the chance to win? Well, not the chance, to win that full art Pikachu V. Oh, my gosh. All right, David, this is your pack. You're pulling the Celebi pack. This 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 has just made the stakes so much higher with that card. That is such a good card to pull. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I ripped the pack, but I forgot that we have code cards. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull the... I really ripped it poorly, too, okay? I, like, really didn't rip this good. <laughs> All right, Michelle, this is your pack. Here we go. There's your rare card. There's your reverse hollow card. Oh my God, you guys, this is so intense. David, this is your pack. Got the Celebi pack. Get that code card out of there. I know, Porg is like, what is happening? Oh my gosh, I can't believe we pulled that. That's crazy. I've actually, I, I pulled that for, I don't know if I pulled it for myself and I've pulled it on a couple of other people's breaks. But I haven't recently pulled that. It doesn't pop up. Oh, I just pulled it in the last stream, huh? Well, now you guys think that it's common. But it's actually not that common. Just so you guys know. All right, here we go. Michelle, starting us off. Oh, my God, I can't talk. Michelle, starting us off on the left side with your reverse hollow pool, which is going to be a pineco. Not pineco. <clears throat> we have a pineco. That's a common reverse hollow. Okay, 
Not the greatest reverse holo that you can pull. David E., your reverse holo card is... A Clobopus, oh, which is also common. All right, well, now it does have a higher HP if we get to that point. I don't know if we're going to. So David, you have the better, right now you technically have the better of pulls. They're very much similar. So let's do your rare card. David, your rare card is gonna be a Quagsire regular rare. So here's how this works. If this is a regular rare, Michelle, we go to the reverse hollows. It's a tie. So we're going to go to the HP. Now, if you pull a regular rare with 120, then we go back to the HP and then David's going to take it. So you need something. I would just to avoid that, maybe just get something either with a really high HP or just something better. Okay. Just make it work, Michelle. <laughs> All right, Michelle, your uh, rare card is going to be Oh, pulling that hollow rare tornadus and with that Michelle is moving into the finals. David, that was such a close battle. Michelle is going to take it to the finals with her hollow tornadus. See, hollows are not great normally, unless you're in a battle and they move you on to the next round. Then they're wonderful. OMG. OMG. Are you guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. We are ready for the finals. Here we go. Here we go. Going back to the Shining Fates. Jay-Z, you're going to be opening up that Toxtricity pack. And Michelle, you got that good old Corviknight again. Oh my gosh. Woo-wee. This is great. I think this is the first time for both of you guys being in the finals, right? Jay-Z, I think this is Jay-Z's first battle, is what he said. And Michelle, it, is this, I don't think this is Michelle's first title, but I think this is her first time getting into the finals. All right, here we go. Jay-Z, this is your pack. All right, you got your rare card and you got your reverse holo card. So winner is gonna get this pack of Shining Fates, oops, and all of the cards in the pot of glory, including this very nice full art Pikachu V. Very nice card. All right, Michelle, here's your Corviknight pack. There should still, in theory, be some hits in this ETB, I think. How many hits do we get? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Hold on, let's put these cards on the table. Michelle, there's your rare card and your reverse holo card. Now, ETBs, if you can get five hits out of an ETB, then that's pretty good, not including the promo. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're already at five. Um, I still think there's a chance to get maybe one or two hits. Um, I out of a like a bomb ETB, I've gotten. I've actually there was an ETB that I opened and I had like out of ten packs, I think I got eleven hits because I had a a couple. There was like a hit in every pack, or there's a couple double hit packs, which is great. All right, you guys ready for this? This is the finals for battle number one tonight. We are gonna have another battle, I think, and then we'll do a head to head once that finishes. Jay Z starting us off. Jay Z starting us off with your reverse hollow, which is going to be, oh, pulling the baby shiny. We got the Galarian Perserker. Ooh, uh-oh. All right. I forgot. We're supposed to start off with the rare cards. Sorry, guys. I messed that up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I messed that up. Michelle, I'm sorry, guys. Michelle, your reverse hollow card is going to be Ah, you got a reverse holo rusted sword. Now it's not over for you, Michelle. You could still potentially get something good. You could get a Skyla. A Skyla would definitely uh, beat the Galarian Perserker. Jay Z, your rare card is going to be a Manaphy regular rare. All right, Michelle, it's going to come down to this last card. Uh, let's look at what this card is worth so you have an idea. The Galarian Perserker is currently going for six dollars and twelve cents. Hmm. Okay, so you need a decent card, but there's definitely cards there. Um, but you need a card that's going to be in the uh, in the rare spot, which is not a shiny card. So you could get like Skyla, Poke Kid, Ball Guy, basically any of the full art trainers or amazing rares would help you out. All right. <sighs> Michelle, it comes down to this. Your rare card is going to be 
Oh, no, it's a Decidui Hollow, which I know for sure is not going to fight the Galarian Perserker. And with that, Jay-Z, congratulations. You have won the first battle of today. Michelle, I'm so sorry. That was so close. You were so close. You made it all the way into the finals. Oh, man. All right. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, let's go ahead and set these off to the side. Congratulations, Jay-Z. We're going to put this in your hitbox. So let's go ahead. And actually, before we do that, uh, Michelle, what pack would you like as your Constellation pack? Um, you can get a Guardians Rising, Crimson Invasion, Sword and Shield base, Sun and Moon base, or uh, what else do we have? Oh, I don't have too many good options. Uh... Well, let's go with that. So Crimson Invasion, Sword and Shield Base, Sun and Moon Base, or Guardians Rising. Which one Which one would you like? And while you're deciding, let me go ahead and start. Oh, I guess I don't need to pack these up yet for um, Jay-Z. Let's go ahead and open up your one pack, too. And then we'll see what we got. Uh, you pick for me. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking Sword and Shield Base or Crimson. What do you guys think? First person to say it in the comments is what we're going to do. Go. Nobody? Sword and shield. Okay. Thanks, JC. All right. Here we go, Michelle. We're going to open you up this sword and shield base. Oh, Michelle. Where's your... Oh, you're in the shit box. Let me grab that out first really quick. Michelle. Pulling that white code card. I'm a, oh, Michelle, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this code card. If you didn't want me to share it, let me know and I'll give you another one. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, Michelle, what did you pull? It could just be a hollow rare, but reverse hollow Mincino and ah, uh, huh. how rude! How rude that this would come out right now. This guy, he's what won it for Jay Z, and then he. He pops out. He's trolling you, Michelle. He's trolling you. But you did get that hollow rare Galarian Berserker. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Michelle. I was a little bit on the colder end. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these cards in your bag. And I'm going to put you back in the ship box. And then we'll get you shipped out, okay? That's so crazy that that just came. I can't believe we just that you just pulled that. In the ship box you go. And Jay-Z, let's go ahead and open up your uh, your prize pack. Since this is not connected to a booster box, I'm not worried about waiting until the second battle. All right, here we go, Jay-Z. What did you get? Now, we already pulled a full art shiny card. You can get two full art shinies from an ETB. That is possible. I have done it. You could also get a full art trainer. All right, let's see it. We'll do the, we'll actually go through the cards. Oh, you got a baby shiny, Hatanya, and a Frost Moth Hollow Rare. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look at your hitch, Jay Z. You did pretty good. The battle is a little bit pricey, but it's great if you win, right? All right, let's take a look. You got a Hatanya baby shiny. You got a Galarian Perserker baby shiny. This is the this is the money card right there. You got that full art Pikachu V. You got the full art shiny Phalanx V sh shiny. <laughs> what? You got the Crobat V Max. You got the Reshiram Amazing Rare. And you got the Cinchino Baby Shiny, the Cinderace V, and of course your EV V Max promo card. Uh, that was pretty banging, right? I don't remember how many, I don't remember how many hits Susan got in her battle. But yeah, that Pikachu honestly just makes it worth it. That that full art Pikachu. That one's fire. So Vivid Voltage. You know, Vivid Voltage last battle did not come through for us. Vivid Voltage was awful for us. Um, I don't know if you guys remember. It just had nothing. Like, it, it had nothing in there for us. And this one came through a little bit better. All right. 
let's go ahead and uh, pack up all of your cards. Let's see. Uh, you got your Cinderace. So Jay Z. Do you have a bag on the table right now, Jay Z? You do. But I'm just gonna get you a big bag. So here's your old bag. Let's go ahead and just get you a big bag because you're gonna need it. Battle winners automatically need big bags. So let's do Jay Z G. And this was for order number twenty thirty. Your battle champ. Number one from three seven twenty one. All right, congratulations, Jay Z. We've had a lot of uh, newcomers come into these battles for their first time and then actually win, which is hopefully hopeful for anybody who's new here who's like, I don't have a chance at winning. You do. We, uh, you do. <laughs> you really do. All right, let's go ahead and take all of your. These are your regular rares and your reverse hollows. I don't know if these are all going to fit in one sleeve. No. So let's go ahead and take out your hollows. We're going to put your regular rares into a sleeve. And then I'm going to split up your reverse hollows and your hollow rares so they fit. Here we go. Uh, we did the Shining Fates and Vivid, and Vivid pulled us some fire with the, uh, with the Full Art Pikachu V right there. Hopefully the next in the next battle vivid's that hot, but it's hard to you know it's hard to tell because it's obviously a sleeve, so you don't really know. All right, Jay Z, let's put all your hits into your baggie. Got your code cards. And your commons and uncommons. I'm glad I got these comic book bags because they really did actually work out really well. All right, Jay-Z, winner of the first battle. You are going into the big box. When you buy shipping, that can, that's considered one pack and I'll cover, I'll cover the rest of it, okay? So let's put that there. Now, back to the order. So we'll do a battle in a little bit if it filled. And if not, we'll just kind of, we'll fill it ourselves. So by the time I'm done with all the orders, if the battle hasn't filled yet, I'll just fill the battle with my own spots, okay? All right, here we go. Sorry, thank you so much for all of your patience for those of you who are waiting. Um, let's see, we did Jay-Z. <clears throat> we did Michelle and Maria. So we're on to Jessica. Jessica B coming through. Let's see what you got, Jessica. Let's find your bag first. Uh, Jessica B. Let me know if you want me to um, continue holding or if you want me to ship. Either works for me. Jessica with order number 2043. What'd you get, Jessica? What did you get? Jessica got two packs of Darkness Ablaze. Very cool. All right. Here we go. Jessica, let's see what she got. Thank you so much for your patience. Can I ship after? Of course. Ah, no. Green code card. So we're going to go ahead. Let's give ahead. Is the second battle, yeah, yes. You got Pamporn and Mel Metal. Um, it's first first and last round are Shining Fates and middle round is Vivid Voltage. All right, Jessica. Yes, finally. Yes. Yes. Yes, white code card. It might just be a hollow though, so let's not get too excited yet. Sorry. All right, your rare card is? Oh. Sorry, Jessica. Sorry. Sorry. For funsies, I'm going to throw in this Pikachu General Mills Hollow for you. All right, Jessica, I'm putting you into the ship box with your Salamance V Full Art. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here for you. And you are officially in a ship box. Thank you so much, Jessica. I appreciate it. Bella coming back in. Bella, I still need to figure out your situation, but I will figure it out. Bella, come in with order number 2044. And Bella is grabbing a custom booster pack. Very nice. Still on the left side. <clears throat> All right, Bella. 
Here's your one custom booster pack. Let's see how you did. Oh. 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 You know, when I was making this, wouldn't it be funny? Like, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming you guys can guess what's at the end of this, but wouldn't it be funny if I just put like a random, like a super, like a Zarude at the end of this? Wouldn't that be hilarious? I think it'd be hilarious. Oh, we just saw this card and a Celebi. I, I was trying to really keep the theme of how these packs are built and not put a random, like just a random card in the back. But I will say that I did change my mind in some of the packs because I just couldn't help it. But you did end with that Celebi. <laughs> Celebi's cool though. All right, you got a baby Shina, Shina? A baby shiny Hatenya and a lot of regular Hatenyas. I don't even know if that's how you say it. And a rare Celebi. Whoop, whoop. Woo -dee -woo 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 -woo. Okay, I'm going to put your Celebi in this uh, pack of rare things. And we're going to go ahead and put your Tenya on the back with your cards. All right, back of the box for you, Bella. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Do, 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 do. Do I need to take a bathroom break in a second. All right, who's next? Mikio is up next. Mikio, 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 your bag is getting a little bit cray cray. All right, oh, your Eevee pack wants to escape. Mikio, you have order number 2045. I'm going to lay your bag down over here, out of the way. All right, see Mikio, you should have gotten some custom booster packs because there's a couple... There's a couple in there I think you would really like. All right, here we go. You got a Crimson Invasion pack. You got a Breakpoint pack. Oh, nice. And you got a Darkness of Blaze pack. All right, let's see how you did. Tilt this down a little bit. Here we go. Let's open up your Crimson first. Can you save, oh, can you save my pack art and hide code card stuff paid for to ship now? Okay, cool. Um, yes. Um, you guys, I did something bad last night. I took part in a pack break, a vintage Japanese pack break. I don't know if anyone saw. I didn't pull a Zard, which was really sad. Um, but it just made me realize how hard it is to open these packs without actually ripping the pack art. Okay, Bella. Um, I'll I'll check in. Let me I'll check the system and then I'll contact you. Because if if I shipped on accident, that's my bad. And you know. If you didn't mean to ship, then we can figure it out. Okay. Look, I saved that pack art. You are pulling the green. Oh, you want me to cut it. Oops, I already didn't cut it. Sorry. Usually when you want to save the pack art, you want the whole pack art. That's like a thing. You did get a green code card for this first one, so there's not going to be a hit in here. I didn't think these were her legs at first. I was like, what is this card? Okay, I'll cut the top off of... Oh, there's look, there's that guy. I'll cut the top off of the other packs for you. And you can cut the top off that pack yourself. Oh, you got a Counter Energy Reverse Hollow and a Hound Doom Regular Rare. All right. Here we go. We have Breakpoint. Ugh, oh, look, if I cut the top off, it's going to cut the little dash for the Pokemon. This one's very tight. I'm going to cut the bottom. Can I cut the bottom? Or do you only want the top? That one's rough. Both of these are rough. If I cut the top, it's going to cut off the Pokemon. It's going to cut off the Pokemon symbol. Can I cut the bottom? Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to cut it now, Mikhail. When, when somebody says that they... I don't want to see... Oh, you don't want to... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying you didn't... I thought you said you didn't... You wanted me to hide the code cards from people. Sorry. I, I misread that. Like, don't show my code cards to the people. Okay, I kind of ruined this one a little bit, but okay, here's your pack art for Breakpoint. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to let you cut the tops off your own packs because when somebody says they're trying to Trubbish Reverse Hollow and a Lilligant regular rare, once they say they're trying to save pack arts, I get nervous. It makes me nervous. All right, your last pack is this Darkness pack. Oh, I'm getting better, guys, at opening up um, packs.
packs like this. Pretty proud of myself. Okay. Darkness. There you go. Look at these three pack lights. Very nice. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Oops, sorry. Pupitar, Chorus Squire, Hiding Energy, Dunsparce, Electrite, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Grimer, Clink, Reverse Hollow Manetric End. Oh! Pull in the Scent of Scorch V. Very cool, very cool. All right. So not overly cold. I'm going to sleeve up this guy because I like him. Look at this. Oh, gosh. I need to research. I need to research this thing because I really like it. All right. There you go. Thank you. And then actually, let's make sure we get you your code cards so you have them. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna stand this up. And we're going to put your cards into your bag. <laughs> All right, and I will go ahead. Oh, you said you bought shipping, so I'm going to put your bag back in the box, but then when I see the shipping come through, I'll put it in the ship box, okay? All right, who's next? Thank you guys for, for your patience. Sorry for taking so long. All right, Elise is up next. Elise is grabbing. Elise, do you have a bag on the table? Let's see, let's see. A, B, C, D, E. Elise, I don't see a bag on the table. Do you have one? Felix, my, I will say my alphabetizing is not the greatest, but I don't see one. So let's go ahead. Uh, you let me know. I'll take a look too. Let me write that on the card. Okay. Elise K. Your order number 2046. And you bought shipping. Elise, let me know if you want me to ship or hold. Uh, this is for all one to ten. Um, if I don't, I'm if I don't hear from you, I'm gonna put you in the ship box. Oh, sorry, Mikhail, I forgot your pack art. Okay. At least I have not received my order from four weeks ago. I emailed you. Ship, please. You have not received your order. Uh oh, wait a second. Did we ship it, or do you? Is it still here? Oops, sorry. That makes me nervous. Let's see. February 21st was when I shipped you last, it looks, or no, maybe not. It says delivered. Which one did you not get? The order with the rainbow Pikachu. Well, let's take a look. So there's one package that got delivered that I shipped you. And I shipped you another time. Let's see if that one got delivered. Delivered. Uh, at least both of these are saying they got delivered. So you should take a look at your shipping tracking numbers. Um, one, eight, one, eight. Yeah, was the number, was the order number. Yeah, that tracking number saying it was delivered. It says it was delivered on March 6th. Oh, at March 6th at 11.54 a.m. That was yesterday. It's in your mailbox, it says. Um, I should have been emailed to you. I can email it to you right now. Let's see, how do I do that? Uh, order confirmation, shipping confirmation, send email. Resend email, there you go. Okay, and then you had another one that I shipped out after the fact. That one was also delivered. That one actually was delivered. I think it was, it might've been shipped beforehand. It was delivered a couple days before, March 3rd. Did you get that one? March 3rd in your mailbox, it says. I'll resend you this email too. Oh, you did get that one, okay. Yeah, that's weird that, um, when did I do that one? 
it's weird that they are that the other one came first. Let's see. Why did I ship the one that showed up on March third? The one that showed up on March third. I was it was received by the post office on March first, and the one that got delivered on March sixth was received at the post office. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it did that. I it was received on February 16th. I wonder if it's because it was a box. Were they both boxes or just one? The bubble mailers I found um, ship much faster, but if you get a really good card for me, usually I ship in a box and like, so I think it's not as fast maybe. I don't, I don't actually know that for a fact, but uh, that's what it seems to be. Okay, sorry. Uh, let's see, where were we? Let's erase this. We were on Elise. Okay, so order number 2046. Yeah, yeah. My packages before used to get shipped really quickly, and then they, they started to take a little bit longer. I know that the post office has been a little bit backed up, but hopefully, Elise, let me know, because I put a lot of insurance on that box, so if you didn't get it, let me know so that we can figure that out. Um, Elise, I'm sorry, did you want me to hold this or ship? Ship, please. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, Elise, what'd you get? You got one pack of Shining Fates. Where did I put? Oh, there, here. One pack of Shining Fates. You got the Toxtricity pack and one custom booster. So we're going to take the custom right here. All right, let's see what you got in your custom first. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I need to get a phone charger. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need a phone charger. Oh, you got the big, oh, double banger pack. Nice job, Elise. You got the baby shiny greedent. I would have never thought that Morpeko was the one that ate a lot because I just assumed like this is the one that ate a lot. And you got the greedent V. And before we open up your shiny fates pack, I'm going to do two two things. Okay, guys, I'm going to run and get my phone charger cord because my phone's dying. And I'm also going to go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. Pause. No one leave. Don't leave yet, guys. Okay. I'll be right back. I don't know where my phone charger is. I have to find it. I think it's up here. Sorry guys, I can't find my phone charger's cord. Where is it? Oh no, where did I go? Where did I put it? Ugh. All right, I took the one from my bedroom because I don't know where the other one is. Okay, sorry. Okay, let me get my computer back on track. All right, is it charging? How can I tell? Okay, I'm gonna pause you guys really quick so I can see if my phone's charging. Okay. It's charcoal. Sorry. But that was... Is that a chocolate beard on the... Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Elise. 
I'm tired of running up and down the stairs. Here we go. So you got two hits so far. Let's see if we can get you a hit from this Shining Fates booster pack. Oh, look, you got the other Pokemon that likes to eat a lot. All right, here we go. Uh, you got a reverse hollow boss's orders and a Volcanion. Okay, so the actual Shiny Fates pack was a little bit cold for you, but the custom one got you a couple of hits. So I'm going to put this into the ship box for you, and we'll get that out. All right. Who is next? What, uh, that was for Elise. We have Mr. David. David E. There you go. Is this your second? The second of the day, right? Yes. Uh, you got a custom booster pack and shipping. David, let me know if you want me to ship or hold. You don't have too many cards in your um, in your bag, but let's see. Do so four seven. You did ship all. 1 to 10. Um, I can hold this for you or I can ship it right away. It's totally up to you. And you got one custom booster pack. All right, let's see what you got, David. I themed this one so that it would all be the same because I thought that looked cool. <laughs> so this is a very dark pack. You got a reverse hollow Galarian Weezing. And you pull that Crobat VMAX. Now, we said that anybody who just gets like a VMAX or less and just one hit is going to get an extra McDonald's pack. So we're going to get you an extra McDonald's pack. Let's go ahead and see. From David E., please ship. Okay, cool. I'll put you in the ship box. Here's your free McDonald's pack. Hello. Is it a... Aslana? All right. Oh, you got that Pikachu. Cyndaquil. Score Bunny and Torchic. You got the Torchic. So I'm going to put your hollows and your reverse hollows together. Congratulations. And you got that Crobat V Max and the extra McDonald's pack. All right. David E., you are going into the ship box. Bonnie, I'm doing really well. Thank you for joining. How are you? All right. Alyssa coming in with a new bag, I believe, because I don't see your name in any of these bags. Welcome. There's a lot of new people today, or people who haven't bought in packs in the past. Alyssa P. with order number 2048. Uh, picked up shipping. Alyssa, let me know if you want me to ship or hold. Up to you. You got all cards. One to 10 packs. That's a weird one to 10 that I wrote. It looks like H-O. It looks like I wrote ho, but that's not what I wrote. And Alyssa is grabbing one pack of Darkness Ablaze and one custom booster pack. All right, Alyssa, let's see your custom. What did you get? Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, you got the baby shiny Corviknight. Oh, and the Pikachu V. So Alyssa pulling another double double banger pack. That's the Pikachu V promo card. And you got that baby shiny Corviknight. Very nice. All right. Now let's see what your Darkness Ablaze pack has. Nice job, Alyssa. That was good. Um, my stream was, oh, you got a white code card. My stream was chaotic in the beginning. It's always chaotic in the beginning because I don't know what I'm doing. So I, I waste about 45 minutes doing nothing. And then we start the stream. <laughs> I should have started the stream 45 minutes earlier and just like with, oh, what did you get? Or is that the, no, that, oh, that might be the, that might be this. Ah, you just got the Dracovish. The Dracovish. Sorry, it looked like something else. I'll try not to do that. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. All right, Alyssa, your uh, Darkness of Blaze pack was a little bit cold, but you did pull two hits from our custom booster. 
So congratulations. Alyssa, I am going to put you in the ship box. Please comment if you don't want me to ship, and then I will take you out of that box, okay? Who is up next? Next we have Andrew, Mr. Andrew, which I think is <clears throat> also new to the table. Right, Andrew? I don't see a bag for you. Mr. Andrew P. Is that right? I feel like I've written that name before, but I don't see you in the A's, so I'm just going to make you a new thing. And Mr. Andrew, also buying shipping. Andrew, if you want me to hold, please let me know, but I'm going to put you in the ship box once we are done with this. All right, all one to ten. Andrew grabbing three packs. He got two custom booster packs and one pack of Cosmic Eclipse. Ooh. All right, let's do your customs first, sorry. All right, first pack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you think it's going to be? Maybe an Eldegoss. <laughs> All right, you got a Cramorant, a Cramorant, a Cramorant, a Cramorant, a Cramorant. And, ah, you got the full art shiny Cramorant V. Oh, and you got the Cramorant, the regular Cramorant V. So you got a double, a double banger pack for you. There you go, Andrew. Nice, nice. All right, second custom booster pack, Andrew. Let's see what you got. shiny drapey and a hollow frost moth Ooh, nice one this this actually i think this is a, a one of the better baby shinies and it's cute look at it isn't that cute look at that artwork i love that one all right so custom booster packs coming through for you andrew let's see if cosmic eclipse can do the same oh man here we go. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I just showed your code card. So I'm going to show this, but I'm going to give you some extra code cards, okay? Sorry, Andrew. Didn't realize it was facing. One, two, three, four. Um, no, not yet. Are you Melanie? Are you Mel B? If not, if so, you're in, in two more orders. All right. I don't, even remember, I don't even know what color code card that was, so I don't know if this is a hit or not. But there are some secret rares in here. So let's see if you all want, oh, this poor Psyduck. All right, you got the Weavile, Weevil, Weavile, Reverse Hollow. Oh, all right. So not the biggest hit, but you did get a Hollower Ninetales, which is actually pretty cool. I love the hollows that are not in the packs that have automatic hollows, you know? All right, there you go. Andrew, very nice. All right, Andrew grabbing the Dreepy Baby Shiny, the Kramer V and the Kramer V Full Art Shiny. We have a Alolan Ninetales Hollow, which is actually pretty cool. And then the rest of your cards. All right, Andrew, I'm putting you in the ship box because I didn't see you say hold. So I'm going to, yeah, please ship. Perfect. All right. Yuri's up next. Yuri, you have a big, big bag and you got shipping. Okay, very cool. Okay. You got, this is order number 2050. And Yuri, I'm assuming you want me to ship, right? Um, oh, sure. Yuri, uh, so Yuri, you have a lot of cards because you want to battle. You did the shipping just the hits. Do you not want your, like, common cards? Or did you accidentally do that? I'm going to put just the hits for right now, but you let me know. And then you let me know what you want to do. If you want me, uh, if you only want the hits, I can obviously go through these and just send you just the just the hit cards. Or if you didn't mean to do that, then we can, I can, we can figure it out. Okay. So Yuri, what did you get? You got one custom booster pack and one evolutions pack. Nice. Ship just that. Okay, cool. Thanks for, thanks for confirming. I appreciate that. All right. Is there going to be hits in this custom booster pack? I don't know, but let's find out together.
I get, I like can't remember putting these together, so I get really excited. Like, ooh, what's gonna be in here? All right, you got a reverse hollow Yan Mega, and you got the Cramorant V Max, and you got an extra pack of Shining Fates. Yes, look at you, Yuri. Look at you. Okay, so there's your Cramorant V, and here's your extra pack of Shining Fates. So now. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see if we can get you some extra hits to ship to you, okay? Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Oop. Here we go. Let me clear off the table. It's getting a little bit messy. All right, Yuri. Uh, which one do you want to do first? Evolutions or Shining Fates? They both have the chance to get hits. I think Shining Fates has a chance to get a bigger hit. So let's do Evolutions first. Let's do the Evos first. All right. You got the green code card, but can we get you... That reverse Holozard is what you're going for. Well, there's other things, but I think the reverse Holozard is probably the uh, main thing. Can you get some secret rares? Let me move this off the table. Seal, Diglett, Poliwag. Ah, you got that reverse holo Electabuzz and a Doug Trio. That Doug Trio, man. We can't get away from the Doug Trio. All right, here's your uh, prize pack, Yuri. Let's see if you can get another hit in addition to your Cramorant V Max. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, Yuri! Oh, and that hollow Luxray. Yuri grabbing that full art Santa Scorch V. Very nice, Yuri. Very nice. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad we can add to this because it was a little bit on the colder end that Evos wasn't as hot as we wanted it to be. Um, all right, Yuri. So what I will do, I'm going to put you into the ship box, okay? And then I'm going to, I'll go through when I'm packing your cards and I'm going to leave you with just, how does this sound? Obviously anything that's in a hard sleeve or any of your like uh, V cards, like these ones that are just in a, like this, um, I'll do your reverse hollows and your regular rares and then I'll keep everything else. Does that sound like a plan to you? Let me know. And, and if so, I appreciate it. Thank you because um, these actually help me pack like when like how I just told you guys earlier when I make the tins for the kids um I actually don't get a lot of common cards because I just don't have a lot of common cards I don't I only open up packs when I'm with you guys mainly so I appreciate it okay cool thank you all right Mel B you are up Mel B I love your name Mel B Mel B let me know if you want me to ship I'm gonna keep holding until you tell me otherwise this is for order number two zero five one what did you get Mel B, you got one pack of Crimson Invasion. You got one pack of Hidden Fates. Ooh. And you got one pack of Burning Shadows. I would say you're Zard hunting, but not quite. Almost, though. All right. Mel B, let's see it. First pack, Crimson Invasion. Ooh. <sighs> I don't think we've seen a white code card in Crimson yet today, so that's exciting. Here we go. Let's see what you got in this white... Pack. Oh, look at that Pikachu. I love that magic card. Peking red card, reverse hollow. And uh, you got the Alolan Marowak hollow. Now this is still, even though it's it's just a hollow rare, again, I like, look at that's so cool. I like that. I'm really appreciating some of the old hollow rares a little bit more. I know that's not super old, but more old than the new ones. All right, Melby, let's see if we can get you a hit from your Burning Shadows pack. Ah, we got a green code card, so most likely... No hit. You got a Dewpiter Reverse Hollow and an Alolan Ninetales Regular Rare. All right, now on to your Hidden Fates. I think we've added this tin. We pulled one cold pack and one double hit pack. So let's see if we can get you a hit out of this pack. Oh, I see something. <gasps> what is it? It might just be a Reverse Hollow, I guess. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. It's not. Uh, it's just a hollow rare. No, you got a hollow rare Misty's Water Command. Not as cool as the Alolan Marowak. All right, so those are your packs. Mel, I'm going to uh, keep holding your bag, but you let me know if you change your mind and you want me to ship it, okay? And you know what? For you, I'm going to go ahead and add in a Pikachu. This is a General Mills promo that we opened earlier. You got... 
some pretty expensive packs there. Let's go ahead and get your reverse hollow. What is this? The, this is the twerking mist, misty, right? Isn't that what they call it? <laughs> All right, put that in there. Yeah, there's a lot of misties. All right, Melby, going back in the box. Who is next? Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve M. You are next with two packs of Breakpoint. Okay. Breakpoint. We don't see a lot of Breakpoint anymore. I tried to price that out decent because, you know, it's pretty expensive elsewhere. All right, Mr. Steve, I need to get you another bet because you're definitely, it's not going to fit. So let's do one of two. This is going to go into the overflow box. Mr. Steve, and let's make you Stephen M. This is bag two out of two. And you have order number 2052 with two packs of Breakpoint. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Mr. St ooh, ooh, uh, three cards. I almost messed that up. Oh, did I mess it up? Did I mess it up? Is there no, maybe it's, there's no energy. Slow, bro. Whisper. Garchomp, reverse hollow end. Ah, uh, you got the dragog, dragogog, dragolage, dragolge, dragalge, dragalge. Hollow. Okay, so you got a white code card, but just a hollow rare. I still like the Alolan Marowak a little bit better than that one. Ah, and then pulling a green code card for your second pack. Those white code cards are tricky, especially when. Sorry, I want to look at these artworks. That's a cool artwork. That Growlithe, Cricketot, Reverse Hollow, and a Trevenant Regular Rare. All right. So, Steve, these packs being a little bit more stubborn for you, you did get a Hollow Rare, which was cool. We'll go ahead and put this in your bag. I'm going to put this back in the box. And then whenever you get shipping, Steve, uh, just remind me of two bags. Dilzia, coming back in. Here's your bag. Let's see. Uh, See, do you have a bag or were you just in the battle? No, I don't remember. Oh, Dilsey, you might not actually. Do you have a bag, Dilsey? Or were you just in the battle? I don't see. I think you were just in the battle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. D. D, 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 D. Let me get my other. I need to open up my new bag of sleeves. I need to go buy some more of these. This is my last bag. Okay. Put this in the box. All right, here we go. Dilcia V with order number 2053. All right, let's see what you got. You got one custom booster pack. Very nice. Let's see what you ended up pulling. Oh, all right. So now I don't have any like legitimate God packs in here, um, but I did try to plump up some of the packs that maybe weren't as strong. So you gotta, you're got you starting this off with a bunch of reverse hollows. I don't even remember what's at the end of this though. Let's see. You get the Rila Boom reverse hollow. Oh, well, this is kind of like a God pack and a Thievil hollow rare. All right, you pulled... The full art, double V, shiny, nice. Okay, I was a little bit worried because for some reason in my mind, I was like, oh, this must be like one of the ones that doesn't have a lot of hits in it, but you did. Very nice for one pack, one pack magic, not bad, not bad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this in here and then Dilsey, you're gonna go into the box and whenever you're ready to ship, you can just pay for shipping, okay? All right. Hannah! Hannah in the house! Hannah, I think I just shipped you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Hannah, 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 I don't know why I said Hannah H. I meant Hannah S. Sorry. I said Hannah H because I was thinking the H in Hannah. Order number 2054. Hi, Hannah. How are you? And then it's Hannah T on YouTube, which is so confusing. All right. <laughs> Hannah pulling five items. What did she get? She got two custom booster packs. She's got one 
Champion's Path. And she's got a Darkness Ablaze and a Sword and Shield base. All right, a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and do your uh, custom booster packs. First one. <clears throat> oh. Oh. You guys remember talking to me? I was talking about this pack earlier. Oh. Who do you think it's going to be? Maybe like a magic card? Uh, Melanie, we just did yours. Mel B. You can, uh, it was uh, like three orders ago. Oh, reverse hollow Eldegoss. Oh, you got the full R Eldegoss V. And I, this is the pack that doesn't really match how the cards are done. I put another reverse hollow Eldegoss behind it just because I didn't want it to be like that weird Celebi pack where they were all like one, like a more Peko and then a Celebi. All right. So that's your first custom, pulling that full of art Eldegoss V shiny. Here's your second pack. Oh, you got the full, oh, wow, Hannah, you got a good one. Hannah, you got a good one. All right, you, you pulled the Ditto V in the back, but you also got the Phalynx V full art shiny. Nice. These aren't bad, right? Not too bad. They do use up a lot of hits, but they're for fun. I like them for you guys. All right, here's your darkness. Let's see if we can keep the fire going. Ah, green code card. You got the Galarian Pony to Reverse Hollow and the Roserade Regular Rare. This is your Darkness Ablaze pack. Another green code card. Diglett Reverse Hollow and an Arctovish regular rare. And then Chump's Path. Can you pull something from Chump's Path? Can you pull something from Chump's Path? I don't know, but maybe. Here we go. Can we skip? Let's skip. Team Yogurt Reverse Hollow. And uh, you pulled a Machamp from Machampion's Path is what we call it. All right. But those customs, I think, hopefully helped make that a little bit better. You got two full art shinies. Nice, and you got the Ditto V. Cool, all right, Hannah, in the bag it goes. And uh, you know the drill. You know the drill. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, H, I. I need to reorganize this because I my, literally my alphabetizing is atrocious. All right, who is next? Rashawn! Rashawn Han. Appreciate you, Rashawn. Let's go ahead and add, this is order number 2055. Rashawn grabbing one custom booster pack. Oh, last pack of this column. So we're onto the second column. Rashawn, let's see what we got, yeah. Oh, I don't remember this pack, but this is gonna be all regular rares. Dreadnought, Bull Canyon. Oops, sorry, Dreadnought. Reverse Hollow Snom. Oh, you got that baby shiny Arctovish. We just saw that card. Well, in a regular form. And Dreadnought. So you pull in the baby shiny from your one pack. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And then we're going to go ahead. You got a bunch of uh, regular rares and your Reverse Hollow Snom. Bag those up for you. Uh, nose Arts. We haven't been... Um, Stevie, the, the shipping is, is, is set up as free. And then when you actually buy it, it goes based off, um, it's just flat rate shipping. So it doesn't show it to you until you actually pay for it. Like you go to pay for it. All right, Rashawn, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Marlana? Marlana. Marlana. Yeah. You have a bag. I saw it. Where is it? Here it is. Marlana. Oh. Pulling order number 2056. Marlana, order number 2056 with two custom booster packs. All right. Marlana, let's see what you got. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's no Zards in the custom packs because I've only pulled one Zard myself. But yeah, they could be coming if you buy any Shining Fates packs. All right, so you got a bunch of regular rare professor researches. 
You got to reverse hollow professor research. And you got a Rila Boom Baby Shiny. And a Rila Boom Hollow Rare. All right. Marlana pulling that Rila Boom Baby Shiny. Very cool. Put that in there. And then let's see what your pack number two has. A lot of Rotums, apparently. <laughs> All right, ball guy. You got a reverse hollow trap pinch and oh, pulling the out creamy V Max rainbow, rainbow rare. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Hey, not too bad in two packs, eh? Not, not too bad. And you got a bunch of uh, you got a bunch of regular rare professor researches but the young version. All right. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Good job. Good job. Good job. G G G G G G. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these cards in here. I might need to, I'm going to change the order of your bag. Got that guard of, oh, you have a guard of our V max. We should have done tradesies. I just bought that from somebody. I totally would have traded, uh, traded you for it. I didn't realize anyone had that on the table. Nuts. All right. Sorry, just wanna. That is the only. That is very true. Rashawn is very right. That is the only secret rare of this entire set. Oh no! Oh, who said that? Sorry, not Rashawn. Tano said that. Was that a wedding cake? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Al creamy is like a cake. All right, Marlena, going back into the box. Chelsea coming up with another pack of hidden fates. So Chelsea should be excited because I think there was, wasn't there one cold pack in between the other two that she bought? And let's see, Chelsea, where's your bag? Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. All right, Chelsea, let's see it. Two, zero, five, seven. Now, we don't know if there's gonna be a hit in here, but I think this tin's only given us one hit, so let's see. Oops, dang it. Okay, I messed that up. I messed that up. This was a Shiny Fates pack. I picked the wrong one. So let's get the Hidden Fates pack, and then we'll just keep opening that other pack for myself. All right, Hidden Fates. Chelsea. One, two, three, four. Chelsea, what are you going to get? I was like, why is that more Pico in here? More Peco. Sorry. Aw. I like Farfetch'd with his leak. <laughs> All right. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris, no, Magikarp Reverse Hollow, no, and a Jolteon. Dang, you know, these uh, these Hidden Fates tins have been pretty rough recently. They're not really, they're not really supplying us with the hits. So I don't know if it's that these are like the reprint boxes. I'm not quite sure, but all right, Chelsea, there's yours. Um, did you guys already buy all the Shining Fates? What'd you guys do? Let me look really quick, sorry. Two zero five seven active. Oh, yep, you guys bought. It. Okay, so I'll have to open up. We'll open up another tin. My bad, my bad. Well, let's go ahead and open up my Shining Fates pack because I accidentally opened this one. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, where are we? We are, sorry, I lost track of where we were. Oh, uh, we were at Chelsea, this one, 2057. Yeah, all right, here's my pack of Shiny Fates. Let's just go, we're just gonna skip. Oh, <laughs> all right, I got me a Grim Snarl V. <laughs> Polar shiny. That was my bad, guys. Sorry. I accidentally ripped open that pack without really looking at it. Okay. Well, there's that. And let's put these in the common. All right. I'll open up another tin, though, when those orders come up. All right. Uh, Makio got some shipping. Makio, I'm going to put you into the ship box. Oh, 
All right, Mikio, you are in the shipping box. Yay. All right. All right. 50, where are we? I'm, I can't keep track of where we are. Hold on, I need to reset this. Let's see. 57 there, here we are. Okay. Next we have Bella coming back. Bella. Bella wanted some more. Bella came back with another order of one custom booster pack. So 2059. All right, Bella, let's see what you got. I thought there was a green theme at first because it was very green. Reverse Hollow Yan Mega and a Ditto V and an extra pack of Shining Fates. There you go. There you go, ghoul. There you go. All right. Uh, here's your extra pack of Shining Fates. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, let's see if we can get you something. Here we go. Extra pack of shining fates. Oops, sorry. Reverse holo more peco and ah, you got a uh, reverse holo yeah, mega and a regular rare. All right, Bella, sorry. That ended up being a little bit cold, but you did pull that Ditto V. So you got something out of that. Probably not exactly what you were looking for, but it was something darn. It could have been the Zard, potentially. That always has the chance of happening. Not likely, but it can happen. Let's see. All right, Bella, thank you. I'm gonna put you back in the box. All right, who is next? Susan is up next. Susan, Susan S. And Susan S, I have shipped you, so I'm gonna give you a new bag. And I'm just gonna go ahead, and you already have four packs that you're buying, so I'm gonna go ahead and get you a big bag, okay? Just for funsies. Susan S, Susan S, did you get your package or is it arriving soon? Susan also had a very, very expensive package because she had the Zard. So I packed that thing in a box and put a lot of insurance on it. All right, Susan grabbing two packs of Shining Fates. Two packs of Shining Fates and two custom booster, booster packs. Um, all right. All right, Susan, let's see it. You got two packs of Shining Fates. And you got two custom boosters. All right. What order number one? 2060. 2060. You got a lot of trainers. You got a lot of trainers, which means you got the bird keeper. I think you got this in the battle when you battled, sorry. You got the full art bird keeper. It seems to be the only full art trainer that I seem to be able to pull. <laughs> All right, and here's your second booster pack. Oops, sorry. Oh, I totally messed that up. You got the amazing rare Kyogre. Nice. Nice. Not too bad for two of the customs. All right, now on to the real heavy hitters where you can actually get a Zard. Um, so this is your first pack of Shiny Fates. Let's see what you got. Oh my God, Susan, can you pull two Zards? That would be crazy. That would be, oh my gosh. Oh, the one 
Mint Shiny, I have yet to be able to pull myself. You got the Toxtricity V Max. Ooh, Full Art Shiny, congratulations. Congratulations. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can get you another hit. Now I'm actually interested. Susan, did you get your box? I'm about to go look at your shipping. Uh, you got the Reverse Hollow Dreadnought and a Celebi. Okay. So the second pack was a little bit cold, but you got a Full Art Toxtricity VMAX. Very nice. All right. Susan knows how to pull the pulls. You're ending with the Full Art Bird Keeper Trainer, the Amazing Rare Kyogre, um, and the Toxtricity VMAX. Very, very nice. And Susan, we're going to put you... I'm going to put you in this bag for now because I think that you tend to usually wait to ship. All right. Tano's in line. And uh, grabbing that first spot of our second battle. His mouth was watering. He just couldn't help himself. I can't. I wouldn't be able to help myself either. All right. I'm going to use your nickname Tano B with order number 2061. All right. You got that first spot. Now, Susan's also jumping in. Susan grabs spot number two, Susan S. Uh, Susan S, this is order number 20. This is Susan S number one. Who are you guys rooting for? Then Susan S number two, Susan S number two coming in with order number 2063. Oh, all on the same side of the bracket. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, what else is next? We have Ariel. Ariel coming in with a spot in the battle. Ooh, this is going to be good. Ariel S. He wants redemption. He doesn't want redemption. He already, didn't you already win one, Ariel? Okay, and then you also got, let's get your bag. You have a big bag. <coughs> He doesn't want redemption. He wants to win another one and another one. 2064. Ariel, what did you get? You got one pack of Shining Fates. Nice. Two custom booster packs. One, two. And then you got the battle. And you got shipping. What'd you get? Oh, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. There it is. Shipping. Thank you. Got the 11 plus packs. I appreciate that. Um, all 11 plus. All right, Ariel, I'm going to put you, you have two bags on the table right now. You have a lot. You have a lot. You are a runner up on the bag. So I'm going to put you, let me put shipping tags on both of your things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put you into the ship box. But if you don't want me to ship her away, I don't have to. But you do have a lot of cards on the table. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to put this one in the ship box for now. Let me know if you didn't want that. Um, Melanie, yes. I'm behind the stream. Someone let me know in the comments. Yes, Melanie, you were pulled. We're on order number 2064. And you were order number 2051. So take a look back. And you can see on the, on the side, too, I put all the things. All right. Ariel, back to you. So we got your we got your battle slot, we got your shipping, we got your your one pack of shiny fates and your two customs. Let's see what you got. All right, here we go. First custom. Oh. 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 I did pull um I did pull this EV from a different set cuz you know, that I would mix it up a little bit. Do do, do, do. Oops, sorry. I skipped it. Sorry, I skipped it. Sorry. I didn't have any more reverse hollow. All right. So you're pulling that EV V Max hollow. Now, I think this is a pretty good pull, but just for funsies, because I did say I was going to do this, I'm going to also throw in a McDonald's pack for you. Okay. Um, let me know if you want me to open this. We don't have to open that. I can just ship it if you want, or I can open it for you. Whatever. All right. Here's your second, here's your second booster pack, custom booster pack. Oh, you got the baby shiny toxicity and a real boom hollow. Nice. Nice. 
All right, not too bad so far. Um, and then Ariel, you let me know about the uh, about the uh, the McDonald's pack. All right, here's your one pack of Shining Fates. Let's see what you get. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? Oh, you got the baby shiny Applin and a Decidueye Hollow Rare. Oh, another baby shiny, baby shiny Applin. Very nice. This took me, this one took forever to pop up. The whole evolution set of this Pokemon was really difficult. I had, a, I think I got two in a claim sale. Okay. So, did I miss anything? You had three packs in the battle. Okay, so out of three packs, you got three hits. Not too, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let me know if you want me to open up this uh, McDonald's pack. Theme pack for the win. Arrow, you want me to open this for you? See what hollow you got, or do you want to keep it sealed? Okay, good, good. I'm really glad, Susan. I'm really glad that got to you. Okay. I don't know what arrow open. Okay, cool. Let's open it backwards so you don't spoil the hollow. All right. Can we get that Pikachu? I don't know. I don't know what the pull rate for the Pikachu is, but uh, I got really lucky on a live box, uh, like a live break, and I pulled it, and then I haven't pulled one since. So, ah, you got the Cyndaquil hollow. That's still a cool one. That was actually one of the last hollows that I was able to pull. I think it was my last hollow. It was not popping up anywhere. Like, I literally could not get the Cyndaquil hollow. So, anyways. All right, Ariel. Um, Ariel, I'm putting you in the ship box. I'm putting you in the ship box. And then, of course, we'll see how your battle does. But I think if you win the battle, we have to get you another. But anyways, you got a lot of cards. You got a lot, a lot of cards. All right. Who's next? Crystal. Crystal V. Is that... Is that Kiko or is that a different crystal? Uh, I don't think I have a crystal on the table right now. Uh, okay, I'm not quite sure, but they got a spot in the, the battle, so. Uh, we're doing spot number five. Crystal V2065. All right. What is next? Oh, man, another battle. This is going to be crazy. Oh, did we actually? It looks like we have enough spots. Oh, oh, you're new. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have another Crystal who goes by a different name. So Crystal is new. Oh, a lot of newcomers. Crystal, hopefully you, you watch the battle so you know kind of what you're getting yourself into. Yuri, you got another spot. You're getting spot number six with order number 2066. Kanisha. All right, Kanisha, what'd you grab? Whoops. I must, ah, oh, I wrote a little bit on my mat. My bad, my bad, my bad. Haven't collected cards in 15 years. Oh, well, this battle, if you win this battle, you have some really nice cards. But it is going to be very, very intense. Okay, Kanisha, I don't think, I think I shipped you the last time you bought cards. Does that sound right to you? Kanisha C. This is order number 2067. Kanisha, what'd you get? You got two customs and two darkness ablaze. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh, Kanisha. I will say I'm pretty proud of myself for this one. This one, I this is probably the hardest pack. This is the hardest pack that it was to make for me. This one. I had a hunt. I had a hunt a little bit. All right, here we go, Kanisha. You got that reverse hollow psychic energy. You're pulling. A, this is from Shiny Star V, I think, or Tag Team. You have an Indeedy. You have a reverse hollow Indeedy, but that's the Japanese reverse hollow. You have an Indeedy hollow. A hollow rare Indeedy. And you got an Ndidi V. And you got another Ndidi V. And you got another, another one, and another one. And another one. <laughs> and, another one. 
and the full are in DDB. And just for kicks and giggles, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to throw that one. I didn't mean to throw that one, sorry. Another one and another one. <laughs> Not a God Pack, but it's an Indeedee God Pack. It's an Indeedee an Indeedee God Pack for you, Kanisha. Let's get all of these Indeedee Vs in a hard sleeve. Probably got your money back just with the Indeedee Vs, so that's great. <laughs> I wish I had enough hits. I don't, I didn't have enough bag of hits to make. I wanted to make a couple God Packs, but I just didn't have, I didn't have enough on hand, but I had enough of her. And so instead of making separate packs, I was like, oh, I'm going to have fun with this and I'm going to make an Indeedee God Pack for somebody. So, Kanisha pulling the Indeedee God Pack. <laughs> All right, here we go. You still got one more. Let's see what you got in this one. <laughs> oh, oops. Sorry. I don't know why you got a double energy in that one. My bad. My bad. Oh, you got the Yavalto Amazing Rare and a Galarian Weezing Hollow. Ooh, nice. Nice. Okay, Kanisha pulling an Amazing Rare. Hey, you know, not too bad for two packs so far, right? Look, you got to, I mean, it's. <laughs> you have a whole family of Indeedees. Okay, here we go. Let's see what you got in your darkness <laughs> blaze packs. <laughs> Let's even get you more hits. All right, you got a green code card for this one. Cling, cling, and a Volcarona. Volcarona. Indeedee, indeed. All right. Ah, uh, no, another green code card. Sorry, Kanisha, your Darkness Ablaze was a little bit cold, flaffy and a muck. But hopefully, hopefully your DDV God Pack made up for it just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead, Kanisha, and put this, put all these Indeedees, put your family of Indeedees in your bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. I wish you guys were here like when I'm making these. So I, like, I'll sit here and I'll just chuckle to myself. Like, I wonder who's going to open this. And then I can I can chuckle a little bit. All right. <laughs> that was, <laughs> Ganesha said, that was indeed fun. <laughs> All right. Jay-Z coming in with the shipping. Very nice. Jay-Z. Uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, you got the big bag. Jay-Z got the big bag. Oh, one to ten. Okay, Jay-Z, I'm shipping you. Let me know if you don't want me to. All right, putting you in the ship box. Ooh, shipping's going to be fun times. A lot of big bags. Ashley H. coming in. Two orders in a row. Ashley H, I don't think you have a bag on the table because I only have an Ashley L, it looks like. So, Ashley H has two orders in a row, 2069 and 2070. One of those is for shipping. Oh, Ashley, you got a pack. Okay, I see. So, I'm going to make you, you don't need a bag right now, but I'm going to make you a bag because you bought shipping. Um, So, I'm going to put this, I have like a box of empty bags, but since you bought shipping, I'm going to put that in there. That way, you know you have shipping. But Ashley actually got a spot in the battle. So you're going to take spot number seven. Ashley H. Um, and Ashley, you bought shipping. You won't need it unless you win the battle. But obviously, if you buy... Oh, you bought a pack above. Never mind. You bought a pack above. So I see that. I see that. So when that comes up, we'll put that in your bag, okay? Um, all right. So we took care of Ashley. And then Mr. Brian G. Kind of snuck himself in there. Brian, I... Uh, Brian G. Brian G. Another pack battle champ with order number 2071. Brian, what'd you grab? Oh, Brian. Sorry, you got a spot in the battle. Sorry, sorry. I should have looked at that first. All right, Brian. Brian, taking that last spot in the battle. Oh my gosh. It's battle time. Brian G. 2071. Oh, this is heavy hitters. We have a lot of pre post former champions in this. Um, let me look really quick. How many orders? Okay, we still have a lot of orders above. So we are gonna we're gonna pause really quick and we are going to so Ashley, when we're done with this battle, we're gonna go back to you with your pack of shining fates. But we are gonna pause this really quick and do our second battle of the day. 
Um, all right. Battle number two. This is for 3721. So here's what we're going to do. Let's reset the table. Let's reset the table. All right. I need to go grab an ETB. Let me grab these. Um... All right. Here's our vivid voltage. I'll be right back. Let me go grab the ETB. And maybe a snack. got some string cheese because I figured that's like one of the least messiest things. Woo! Let me check my phone really quick because people have been texting me. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. So that first battle got some good hits. Let's see if the second battle can do the same. So I know there's a lot of former champions. Ooh. All right, here we go. Uh, not today. Not today. I don't know if I have enough shiny, uh, enough vivid voltage to be honest. Two battles is our max per day because three battles would be exhausting. I'm already exhausted. Battles are exhausting. Okay. Whoever wins this battle is going to get the EVV max. Put that in the pot of glory. I am snacking on some string cheese. I wanted a snack because my. My stomach was growling, but I wanted something that wasn't messy. I have some leftover pizza from yesterday, but that's a little bit messy. All right, let me eat this really quick. When I eat string cheese, even when I'm in a rush, I still have to... Like, have you ever seen somebody just bite into string cheese and I'm, like, offended when they do that? I'm like, what? You just bit into the string cheese? What? Who does that? Oh, Yuri, thank you. Uh, no. I feel like they're going to cancel that, to be honest. All right. As per usual, let's do some shuffling. Oh, one of these packs, they didn't seal these packs very well. Does that, oh, you know what this means though, from what I've seen, if the packs on the top look not as sealed, there's a chance that we might have some crimped cards. That would be crazy. Okay, that's okay. We're not going to worry about it. All right, here we go. Let's set, are we set up? Are we set up? I am still going. I didn't actually expect it to be this long, but we got another battle going. All right. Is everything sold out on the website? If not, I'm going to give everybody, I'm going to put a timer on my watch. I don't know what's still available. I'm going to put a five minute timer on my watch. And when five minutes goes up, I'm going to shut down the website. All right, here we go. Woo. You guys ready for this battle number two? That was a long one. All right. Let's do it. 
We're gonna jump into it. You guys all know the deal. You guys all know that you're all you're all good to go. We have a uh, one new person. Well, uh, two new people. I think Ashley's new. Pleases the fans. Oh, I thought you were telling me to please turn on the fan. I was like, really? You want me to turn on the fan? All right, here we go. First battle. We got Tano versus Brian G. Who is going to win this battle? I know. I was going to get a soundboard, actually. I have looked into that because I wanted to do better at my streaming and actually get, like, legitimate, like, equipment, but I'm not there yet. All right. Tano, your rare card. And Tano, your reverse hollow card. Uh, what is this? This is for Brian. Brian. One, two, three, four. Your rare card and your reverse hollow card. Oops. All right. We're going to go with the rare cards first. People keep sending me messages. Okay. Woo! Let's do it. We're going to start with the rare, rare slot because, you know. Here we go. Tano. Your rare card is... Going to be, ugh, you got a Yanmega regular rare. Brian, your, oops, sorry. <laughs> your rare card's gonna be, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing and I got really invested in my string cheese. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just eat this really quick. Sorry. Okay. Oh, this makes it more exciting though. We've got two regular rares on the table. Two regular rares on the table. So let's see what kind of battle this is going to be. Bri uh, Tano, 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 your reverse hollow card is going to be, oh, you got a frost moth reverse hollow. Although it is a rare card, so that's good. But if Brian gets basically a hit in his reverse hollow slot, then he's going to be moving on to the semifinals. Brian, slipping in, last spot of the battle. Your reverse hollow card is going to be, oh, Brian pulling that amazing rare Reshiram. Oh, Tano, I am so sorry. With this Reshiram, Brian is going to be moving on to the next round. Ugh. I thought you had a shot if there was no pulls there. All right. Congratulations, Brian, on that battle win. Moving on. All right, here we go. Newcomer versus previous champion. Ariel on the left with the Dragapult artwork, and Crystal's going to be on the right with the Toxtricity artwork. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right, here we go. Ariel, your pack first. This garbage can is working out wonderfully for me. I should have done that a long time ago. Here we go. Your rare card, your reverse hollow card. Crystal, newcomer. Newcomer to the battle. All right, here we go, Crystal. Here's your rare card. And here's your reverse holo card. I wish you the best of luck, both of you. Here we go. Ariel, your rare card is going to be... It's a Zarude, my dude. Regular rare. All right. Crystal, looking good for you. Crystal, your rare card is... Ooh, it's a Reloboom Hollow. Okay, so Crystal has the one-up. Now, it really comes down to this slot, because you guys know this is where the, the big hitters lay or live Woo! so we're gonna do crystal first because she's got the uh she's got the the leg up right now crystal your reverse hollow card is uh you got a reverse hollow horsey that's a common all right so here's the thing ariel you need either a hit or a, uh, an uncommon or rare reverse hollow to move on. If you get a common reverse hollow here, then 
Air, uh, then Crystal's gonna take the lead with her hollow rare. Or you can get, oh, I almost said Charizard, but there's no Charizard in this one. Well, there's no Charizard, no like reverse hollow Charizard. All right, Ariel. Your reverse hollow card is going to be, oh, it's a baby shiny Galarian Surfetch. Ariel, I am so sorry, or I'm sorry, Crystal, I am so sorry. Ariel is going to take it to the next round with this baby shiny. Oh, Crystal, you were so close. I wasn't quite sure what was gonna be pulled from that, but so far this ETB is a little bit on the, I'm gonna say the hotter end, but it's uh, been a little bit calmer with the hits, but a little bit more consistent for battle. I'm so sorry, Crystal. That was a very nice try for your first time. Ariel, congratulations. You are moving on to the semi-finals. Yeah, your um in this pack the Charizard is a shiny card, so it's gonna be in the reverse hollow. So I I just meant there's not gonna be a reverse hollow Charizard because in my mind I was thinking reverse hollow. All right, here we go on to the right side of the bracket. Susan, Susan is trying to defend her her shining fates battle champion against Ashley, newcomer Ashley with the toxicity. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. We're just gonna jump into it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. Susan, this is your pack. One, two, three, four. Here, Susan, is your rare card. And here is your reverse hollow card. Ashley, welcome, Ashley. Let's see what your pack has in store. And I, I don't think this is gonna be the case, but if for some reason this ETB and the Vivid Voltage, voltage cards are really cold, you we need to have at least four hits in the, in the Pot of Glory, okay? All right, here we go, let's do it. Susan, your rare card is going to be, oh, pull in the Galarian Weezing Hollow Rare. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ashley, your rare card is gonna be, oh, <laughs> two Hollow Rares in the same battle, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just remember they have these Sour Punch straws from the last time. I, I aired them out so that they would get hard. I forgot I used that. Okay. Mm. I don't really like apple, but this is delicious. I definitely should have eaten before we did this. Mm. This is very close, guys. A very close battle. Who do you think is going to win? It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a close one. Are you guys having a good Sunday? I'm having a good Sunday. really just okay with me stalling like this jeez you guys jeez no one even cares all right let's do it hmm. susan s your reverse hall card is going to be oh you got a reverse hall spinner it's very faint do you guys see how faint that is i know the dark reverse hollows are a little bit interesting okay so, here's where we're at. This is a common reverse hollow. Ashley, you need to pull a hit to automatically win. Or, you need to pull a reverse hollow that's uncommon or rare. If you pull a common reverse hollow here, we're going to go to the HP, and Susan's going to win this. So, Ashley, your rare card. Oh, sorry, your reverse holo card. Your reverse holo card is going to be. Oh, pulling a baby shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. And with that, Ashley is going to be moving on with her baby shiny pool. Congratulations, congratulations, Ashley. Susan number one, I'm so sorry, but maybe Susan number two can pull out a win. All right, Ashley, newcomer Ashley, taking on 
It'll be hitter soon. Moving on. Will we have a rematch is the question. Or is Jerry going to take down Susan? I don't know. This is very interesting. Very intense. All right. Susan, number two. You are on the left side with the toxicity pack. And Yuri, you're on the right with the Corviknight pack. Susan, do you remember what pack art we pulled your um, Zard out of? I could only remember mine, which was a Corviknight, only because I talked crap about him. All right, Susan, one, two, three, four. This is your pack. There's your rare card and your reverse holo card. Yuri. This is your pack, your Corviknight pack. One, oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go, Yuri. Your rare card and your reverse holo card. All right, who's facing Ashley in the semifinals on the right side of the bracket? Nobody knows. But we're going to find it right now. Susan, number two, your rare card is, oh, you get a regular rare Dreadnought, okay? Not a bad regular rare, but we would hope for not a rare. Let's see, Yuri, let's see it. Let's see it. Your rare card is, oh, it's a professor's research trainer. Uh-oh. Okay, so Susan has the leg up right now with her regular rare Dreadnought. Susan, let's see what your reverse holo card is. Susan, your reverse holo card. Susan number two, I should just mention. Your reverse holo card is, oh, you're grabbing the amazing rare Yavaltal. Wow, we got two amazing rares. Is it, was that the other one? Oh, we got two amazing rares and one ETB. That's kind of crazy. All right, all right. So this is definitely, if there is a tie, we're going into values. Uh, let's see, Yuri, this Yavaltal Amazing Rare is currently going for mm, $9.03. So you need to pull something here that's worth more than $9.03. Can you do it? It's possible. Yuri, your reverse hollow is... Oh, you got a reverse hollow reel of boom. I'm so sorry, Yuri. With that, Susan number two is moving on to the finals. Congratulations, Susan. Glad that you were able to get one of those spots to move on, which is nice. Susan number two. I always root for Susan number one, and she always lets me down. But Susan number two without fail. There you go. All right, here we go. Semifinals. <laughs> You guys ready for this? Now we are jumping back to the Vivid Voltage. Let me grab this, oh, this blue tower control. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got some different pack art, so let's mix these up without looking at them. Yuri, that was a very nice try. You just couldn't get a hit to come out when you needed it. All right. Here we go. Brian, you grabbed the Pikachu artwork on the left. And Ariel. Is this a is this a rematch? I feel like you guys have battled each other. Orbito on the right. I swear you guys battled each other before. Maybe not. Oh, Ariel faced Ariel. <laughs> oh, wow. Ariel. Ariel. You obviously... Oh, this is a rematch. This is a rematch! This is a rematch! All right. I was like, I feel like you guys have battled each other. All right. Let's see it. Who is going to take this battle? Brian, we're going to start with you, Pikachu artwork. I'm going to do this off camera because of code cards. 
One, two, three, four. All right, here we go, Brian. There's your rare card and your reverse hollow card. Ariel. Now you guys are both former champions, so there's that. That's good. <laughs> Here we go. Rare card and reverse holo card. But let's see. Yeah, Brian wants a different outcome than the last time they faced each other. You guys ready? Let's do it. Oh. Oh, yeah, what happened to my alarm? I guess I forgot to set my alarm. Thank you, Rashawn, for reminding me. Okay, I'm shutting down the site. Hold on one second. And the site is shut down. All right. Thank you for the reminder. Here we go. Let's do it. We'll start off with the uh, reverse hollows for Vivid. Brian, your reverse hollow is going to be a swoobat. That's an uncommon reverse hollow. Ariel, your reverse hollow is going to be, oh, an Alistair trainer, also uncommon. Hmm. All right. Who has a one up? Brian? Because he's got a Pokemon. Brian, your rare card is going to be. Uh, you got a regular rare B drill. All right. Ariel, let's see. Can you move on? Now, how does this work? Ties. So, Ariel, if you're not going to get a hollow or better, you need a regular rare that's going to have higher than 130 HP. If not, then Brian's going to take this. Ariel, your rare card is going to be oh <laughs> i'm so sorry brian ariel pulling the ages slash v max and moving on to the finals yet again congratulations ariel that was a very very nice battle brian next time i hope you guys continue to have to battle each other just so that we can keep track of that because that's intense i think we have a, a rivalry going on right now all right, here we go. Ashley H. Oh, rematch, but different because Susan number two. So Ashley H, you are going to be pulling from the Zarud, my dude, artwork on the left. Susan number two, you're going to be pulling from the Celebi artwork on the right. Who is going to face Ariel in the finals? Ariel, wasn't one of the people that you faced Susan? Was it in this the same type of battle, wasn't it? I need to organize my battles better. My battle, my battle paperwork. Oh my gosh. All right. So Ariel Susan's trying to get in the finals so that she can face Ariel again. Ariel maybe doesn't want that to happen. I don't know. But let's see. Ashley, let's see if you can stop Susan from making it into the finals. You got the Zarud. My, oh wait, we have to cut it. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Okay. Okay, Ashley's pulling from the Zarud, my dude artwork. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Rare, reverse hollow. Susan number two, you got that Celebi artwork. Rare, reverse hollow. Mix it up or keep it the same? What do you guys think? All right. Let's just keep it the same. Here we go. Ashley H. Your reverse holo is going to be. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ashley, there's a lot of amazing rares in this loot pile. Ashley H. Pulling the amazing rare Raikou. Wow. Uh oh, Susan, Susan number two. I don't know. Your reverse hollow is a memory capsule. All right. There's still a chance for Susan number two. Let's go ahead and see Ashley's rare card. 
Actually, your rare card is going to be a Galarian Perserker, regular rare. All right, Susan number two. You still have a shot at this. You need a hit for sure. And you need a hit that's going to be worth more than $12.61. Not impossible, but definitely challenging. But let's see what you got. Susan, your rare card is going to be... Ah, uh, you got a DNC Hollow Rare, which in normal circumstances would be decent. But unfortunately, Ashley got that Raikou on you. All right, I'm so sorry, Susan number two. I appreciate your participation. And uh, Ashley, congratulations, newcomer Ashley taking the win with her amazing rare Raikou. I'm making it into the finals to face Ariel, who also at some point recently was a, a newcomer to the battle. So we have a somewhat newcomer to the battle versus a, a very newcomer to the battle. So who knows what's going to happen. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys ready? The winner is currently... Uh, fighting for an Amazing Rare Raikou, an Aegis Slash VMAX, a Yvelto Amazing Rare, a Galarian Zigzoon Baby Shiny, a Galarian Surfetch Baby Shiny, a Reshiram Amazing Rare, the EV VMAX promo, and one pack of Shining Fates. Who is going to take the loot pile? Let's do it. Ariel, you are going to be opening up the Charizard artwork on the left, and Ashley, you're going to be opening up the Corviknight pack work on the right. This is very, very intense. Let's see if we can pull a couple more hits also for the winner. Oh. All right. So here we go. Ariel, one, two, three, four. You got your rare card and you got your reverse hollow card. Ashley. Ashley. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. All right, Ashley, you've got your rare card and your reverse holo card. Who is going to, is Ariel going to be a two time champion? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to start with our rare section because, um, you know, Ariel, your rare card is going to be. Oh, Ariel already starting off hot with that more, more Peko V. Not worth a whole lot, but now we're definitely not going to go into any like reverse hollow tiebreakers or anything like that. Ashley, your rare card is going to be mm, pulling that professor's research regular rare. All right. Marco, I already opened the one package that I had earlier today at the beginning of the stream. All right, here we go. So let's start off with Ariel because he's got a better pull for the rare card. Ariel. <sighs> this is my third battle. Runner-up in first, winner and runner-up in second, and now this. All right, Ariel, your reverse holo card is going to be... All right, you had a reverse hollow of professor's research. So, Ashley, in order to win this battle, you need to have a hit here. And it needs to be worth more than this more Peko V. The more Peko V is not worth, I don't think, a whole lot of money. It's going for a dollar and one cent. So you need a pull here that's going to be worth more than a dollar and one cent, AKA you just need a hit. If you get a reverse hollow card here, then Ariel's gonna take this battle. Are you guys ready? Ashley, this is so intense. Your reverse hollow card is going to be, this is really intense, you guys. I think I just need a minute. It's just so intense. It's so nerve-wracking. There's just so much, so much pressure. 
even so much pressure for me. I have to flip the card around, you guys. There's a lot of pressure. I don't think anyone ever thinks about the pressure that I have to face with flipping the card around. Hmm. Yeah, Marco, I did open up some toy balls earlier. <laughs> My toys are over here. There they are, in front of the Zards. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> here we go. Ashley H., your reverse holo card is going to be... Oh, Cacnea, regular reverse holo. Ariel, welcome to the winner circle of two-time champion. Ashley, I'm so sorry. Congratulations on making it all the way to the finals, though. But Ariel has just defeated Ashley to be a two-time champion in our pack battles. Congratulations, Ariel. All right, Ariel, your package is going to be ginormous. It's like going to be gigantinormous. It's like going to be gigantamax. Um, oh, Ashley, that was such a nice try for your first round. Ashley, for your consolation pack, would you want do you want a pack of Guardians Rising, Crimson Invasion, Sword and Shield base, or Sun and Moon base? You let me know. And while you're doing that, I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do? Not pack up. Let's look at the hits while we're waiting for um, to hear what Ashley wants to open. So you got the Morpeko V. That's your only V card, actually, which is not bad for an ETB. So this ETB gave us a Morpeko B V, a Yavalto Amazing Rare, a Galarian Zigzagoon Baby Shiny, Galarian Sir Fetched, a Reshiram Amazing Rare. So no full art shiny. The Vivid Voltage still came through with us. Not It's not a full art Pikachu V or a Rainbow Pikachu, but you got... Two hits from the from the uh, Vivid Voltage. And then, of course, you're taking home your EV promo. Um, Ashley. Yes. There's only a few people in the two-timers club. And then there's some people that are in, like, like you know, Elizabeth Deals, who's in, like, the five-timer club or whatever she's in. All right. But I would say, Ariel, a pretty good set of hits. And you still have one more pack to open. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these over here for now. Um, Ashley, do you want the Sword and Shield base, Crimson Invasion, Guardians Rising, or Sun and Moon base? Sword and Shield, cool. All right, so we're going to open this up for Ashley. And Ashley actually has another order. Here, Ashley, here's your bag. Has another order after this. So she's going to be the first order that we open after this. All right, Ashley. Ah, sorry, Ashley. Pull in the green code card. Let's just go ahead and look. You got the Reverse Hollow Krabby and the Lapras uh, Regular Rare. All right. So let's go ahead and bag these up for Ashley. And then, Ashley, we'll get to your order in a second, okay? Thank you for being patient. And congrats on making it to the files. That's actually a really big deal. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but it really is. Ariel, let's go ahead and see what's in your prize pack. All right, this is Ariel's prize pack. We're going to do a little bit of skippy skip. All right. Uh, you're getting that reverse holotropius and a Zerud regular rare. So our prize packs today have been a little bit cold. But Ariel is still taking home a decent amount of hits. And then the other thing is, who won earlier? I need more top loaders. Who was our champion earlier today? It was... It was Jay-Z, right? Jay-Z, was it you? I think so. Pretty sure it was Jay-Z. Me and Steph are in the Shining Chars. Yeah, we are. Susan, how's your collection going? I'm, I'm literally three cards away. I'm three cards away from completing my set. I'm so excited. All right, so Jay-Z and Ariel are going to battle it out for the ultimate champion of the day, but we're not going to use Shining Fates because I don't have... This is just expensive. So let's see, Ariel, I'm going to... Oh, Ariel, did I already make you... I don't think you're... Uh, well, actually, I might be able to fit them in here. All right, Ariel, let's go ahead and see what we can fit into this bag first. So I'm going to put all of your hits in here. And let's do, we're going to sleeve up your reverse hollows. And we're going to sleeve up your hollow rares. And we're also 
going to sleeve up your regular rares. All right, Ariel, popping that in the bag for you. You've got your code cards and the cards that we just pulled for you and your commons. Put those there, Stick those there. And then Ariel, I'll sort through these. That way I don't have to waste another bag. All right. Ariel going in the box, congratulations. Ariel, now we need to figure out who is going to be the ultimate battle champion. Where's the other card? I lost it already, hold on. Here it is. Of March 7th, 2021, who is gonna be the ultimate battle champion? This doesn't really, um, uh, Marco, too many. Uh, not maxed out. Not yet. I don't even own that many credit cards. All right. Ariel, Jay-Z. We are going to use... Crap. What are we going to use? Um... Uh... You know what? Let's go... Let's go big. A little bit big. I'll go a little bit bigger. Um, I wasn't planning on, I don't have anything else for you guys. So let's do Burning Shadows. I mean, I have other packs, but Burning Shadows is a fun run, right? All right. Jay-Z, Ariel, who is going to be the ultimate battle champion? We're going to mix these packs up. And here we go. Jay-Z, you're going to be on the left because you were the first winner. Ariel, you're going to be on the right because you were the second winner. Let's see what we got. I'm going to take these off screen so you can't see the code card color. One, two, three, four. Okay, same battle rules apply. Uh, reverse hollow, regular rare. Uh, Mikio, Cosmic Eclipse is too expensive. Cosmic Eclipse is, is just as expensive as uh, as Shining Fates, actually. It's $15 a pack right now. It's like, so I, I'm charging $15 a pack. Oh, what's on that card? So we'll do some Burning Shadows. All right, here we go. Jay-Z. We're gonna do this quick. Your reverse holo card is a dark rye. Ooh, ooh, that's a rare reverse holo. Ariel, your reverse holo is <laughs> a Magikarp common. All right, Jay-Z, your rare card is an Electivire regular rare. All right, Ariel, you need a hit here. I cheated. I'm pretty excited about this. Ariel, I'm not going to make keep you guys right. Ariel, your... <laughs> I'm glad I picked this pack. Ariel, your rare card is... Look at that freaking beauty. Are you kidding me? We just pulled a Rainbow Rare Noivern GX from, a, from an extra battle pack. There you go. Let me get more top loaders here. Congratulations. All right. So Ariel is taking, Ariel is on fire today. Ariel is taking the ultimate battle championship for today. Um, Jay-Z, it was a nice try, but nobody can stop Ariel. He's on fire. Um, yeah, the update is I don't have one. There, there's your update. There's your update. Okay, yeah, that's such a nice card. I want to look at the value of that because it's very nice. Rainbow Rares are usually pretty good, but some Rainbow Rares aren't as good, so it just depends. Um, obviously, it's not the Rainbow Rare Zard, which is the one that you want to get. It is very off-centered, as Burning Shadows does. You guys know. You guys know the drill. All right, here we go. What is this? A Noivern GX. The Noivern GX Sigura. This is going for $10.00. And 96 cents. So there you go. That's a fun little free extra pack. Yeah. Um, so Ariel is going to take both of these packs worth of cards. And uh, there you go. Roy, I'm sorry that you're disappointed. Um, if you want to see more uh, Funko videos, there's uh, Top Pops. He's he's really cool. And uh, who else is there? Who else is a Funko, Funko people? There's this other guy that I follow. I forgot what his name is. Or you can go follow like a um, bearded pop hunter. There you go. There's there's a lot. Luckily, they didn't go anywhere. So there's still a lot of people out there that you can follow. And you can follow them. And they actually, you know, are really into Funko Pops because I didn't want to keep making videos if I wasn't really into it. All right. There you go. Oh, 
Uh, Jetta doesn't really do Funko Pop, so I'm not going to send you to Jetta's. But if you like hot toys, go to, go check out Jetta's channel because he does a lot of hot toys. Okay, so uh, that was a great battle. Congratulations to Ariel. Oh, I didn't write that on the thing, did I? Ariel winning the ultimate champion, ultimate champ. For 3721. Congratulations, Ariel. You are on fire. Clint. Clint does mystery boxes. Yes, he does. And you can also then buy them, buy the pops on uh, whatnot. He sells on whatnot. Um, there's another guy that I like. He's newer. He's got a fun name. I forgot what it is. He does like, oh, this guy. Skittle Rampage. He does more, he likes anime. But, and he's kind of like a mixture of also news type things, but he's fun too. So there you go. There's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people that you can go watch. All right, back to the order. Sorry for the wait. Um, we're just going to finish out the orders that we have pending. Um, I did shut down the website already. So let's see what we have. I believe it was Ashley. Oh, we don't have that many. Nice. Okay. So Ashley, you had 270. Now you had uh 2072 ashley what did you grab ashley what did you grab ashley let me move this over because i can't actually i can't act i can't actually see it but i really meant to say actually the punning all right grabbing a shining fates pack here we go ashley let's see how you do maybe it can make up for your for the battle all right here we go pop drunk that sounds fun they do a drinking game with Funkos. Oh, um, oh, Pop Fun to Play is also a good one. Nice. All right. Ugh, you got the Reverse Hall Floatzel and a Relo Boom Hollow. All right, Ashley. I'm sorry. That was a cold Shining Fates pack. I know it doesn't seem like they have those, but unfortunately, they, they really do have cold Shining Fates packs. All right, Ashley, you're going to go into the... Oh, Ashley, shipping... I'm going to put you into the ship box right now. Let me know if you don't want me to ship, okay? If you want me to hold. You just let me know. Who is next? Jesse. Jesse W. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, I think I shipped you last time. Right? I don't see your bag. Pop drunk. I know. Pop drunk does sound like that. It sounds like something that I should have thought of because it's like wine series, but all the time. <laughs> all right. Jesse, whoop, W, I wrote your name weird. This is order number 2073. Jesse W, what did you grab? Jesse W grabbing one custom booster pack and one pack of Shining Fates. All right, we've got that Zard artwork. Here we go, Jesse. Am I the first grand champ? No. What do you mean? What's a grand champ? Ultimate champ? No. You can hold for now. Okay. Ashley, I'm going to put you... Actually, let's put a hold tag on you so I don't forget. Hold. And then, Ashley, you're going into the box. You let me know whenever you want me to ship, okay? And I'll take that off. All right, here we go. Jesse, here is your custom booster pack. Let's see what you got. Oh, weird. It's all, it's all grass type. It's all grass type. Why? Why? And why is there so many Delmi's? What? 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 Ah. All right, that is considered a colder pack. You got the Delmi's VMAX, but as we said before, you're also going to go home with a McDonald's pack. So let's go ahead and get your McDonald's pack. Jesse, I'm going to go ahead and just open it. I, don't, I didn't see you writing in the comments, but all right. Pikachu? Oh, <laughs> Not hollow Pikachu, though. All right, let's see. Pikachu, Cyndaquil, Turtwig, and a Fennekin. A Fennekin hollow. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, let's open up your Shining Face pack and see how that this one did, okay? You got the charred, charred artwork, the Charizard artwork. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Can we get you another hit? Oh, we got you another hit, Jesse! And a boss's order. <laughs> 
Jesse! Jesse, pull in the Toxtricity V Full Art. Nice one. Nice one, my guy. Nice one. All right. Good job, Jesse. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just leave up your reverse hollows, your, your uh, McDonald's packs and stuff. All right. There you go. Not too bad off of two packs. I would say in that one, actually, the custom booster pack was a little bit colder, which is a little bit different than what we've seen today, I'll be honest. I feel like I feel like my custom booster packs in general have been pulling more fire and more heat than the Shining Face packs. Don't you agree? Do you guys agree? All right, Dina's back. Grabbing that shipping. Dina, where's your bag? Here it is. All right, Dina with order number two zero seven four and grabbing the shipping dina you let me know i'm gonna put you in the ship box if you want me to not ship yet you let me know okay one to ten packs two packs of custom packs custom booster packs i didn't realize what time it was let's go faster oh 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 Ooh. oh 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 Ah, uh, Dina pulling the, the EV VMAX. That's the promo from the ETB. It's what the uh, battle champions each just won. And we'll consider that a cold hit. It's not really a cold hit, but I'm just going to consider it because I want to stay true to my word about what we said earlier. So I'm going to get you a McDonald's pack, which is going to have a Trico, a Fennekin, a Turtwig, and Pikachu. A poplio. All right. Oh, I need more sleeves. Let's grab these. You know, I talked a lot of crap about the Eevee sleeves. They're still not my favorite, but they are starting to grow on me. I'll be honest. They're growing on me a little bit. Only a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot bit. Just a little bit. All right. Here we go. Dina, second custom booster pack. You got a Reverse Hollow Luxio and a Ditto VMAX. Nice. I love this Ditto VMAX. I like the shiny version, but I also like this version just because it's true to color. And technically, we're going to also consider that a cold hit because it's a VMAX or lower with only one. If there was another hit, then we wouldn't be doing this. So we're going to give you one more McDonald's pack. Here we go. Ooh, you got a Bulbasaur. Nice. Chespin, Oshawott, and... A Torchic Hollow. Okay. Cool. Not not too terrible for two packs. Not too terrible. All right. Dina, I am going to put you into the shipping box because I don't, I'm not hearing from you. This is going to go with your Litten and your Mopnia. There we go. Put these in there. Put these in there. And then, Dina, I'm putting you in the ship box. You are in the ship box, Dina. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Brian G. Grabbing two packs of Champion's Path. Nice. Brian, your bag is ginormous. Where is it? Here it is. All right, Brian. This is order number 2075. Oops. Put this over here. All right. Let's see what you get out of this Champion's Path. Hopefully an Incineroar V or a Rotom Reverse hollow Rotom bike, yeah? Let's hope for those. Or Zard. I mean, that would be good for you. <laughs> All right, here we go, Brian. Let's see what pack number one got you. You got a regular Rotom bike. Can you get that reverse hollow Rotom bike, though, is the question. It's the question. Uh, you got a reverse hollow Rock Ruff and a Zygarde hollow rare. Uh-oh, Chump's Path. You guys know Chump's Path. Chumpian's Path, sometimes I call it. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Brian, can you get a hit out of this second champion's path? Trevor's reverse hollow. Ugh, you got him a champ out of the champion's path pack. All right. Sorry, Brian. Those were some cold champion's path for you. Put these in here. Put you back in the box. <coughs> All right. Crystal is up. Crystal, I remember making you 
I need an overflow box. There's too many. Crystal, where are you? Crystal, are you in a ship box? Or did you not, oh, did we not make you a bag because you were just in the battle? I need a bigger ship box. Yes, your bags are too big. Your bags are too big for my ship box. Um, maybe Crystal didn't have a bag because she was just in the battle. Is that right? Yeah, okay, that's right, sorry. She had only bought the battle spot. Okay, here we go. Crystal, making you a bag? I swear I made you a bag. I swear I wrote your name on a bag. Did I not write your name on a bag? I swear I did. That's okay. Did I? Why is my mind telling me that I, I, I wrote your name on a bag? No, I wrote your name on the battle. That's right. Okay. My mind is playing tricks on me. Two, zero, seven, six. <clears throat> Grabbing two, whoops, custom booster packs. Here we go. Crystal, what are you going to get? Oh, it's very blue. It's a very blue pack. It's very water-based, it seems. Cramorants. And a Cramorant VMAX. Okay, so another somewhat cold pack. The cold packs are all ending up at the end. Still a cool, I like that card a lot. But let's go ahead and get you a McDonald's pack just for funsies. All right, let's see what hollow we can get you. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander. All right, let's see it. Rowlet and a Poplio. All right, so you got that Poplio hollow. Hold on, Dana's texting me. Let's see. I thought I was gonna get done with the stream like really early because I started early, but not the case today. But that's okay, because I'm having fun. All right, here we go. Crystal, oh, second pack. You got some reverse hollows. A lot of reverse hollows. Let me put these reverse hollows in your reverse hollow pack. I don't know what that's going to mean for you. A Cinderace V and a Ditto V. Okay, so you pulled two V cards. So we're going to consider that a hit. It's not the biggest hit, sorry. Um, but you got a double hit pack, which is abnormal. I added that in at the end because um, I didn't want any pack just to have just a V card. Uh, so you got a double hit pack on that one. Let's go ahead and sleeve up all of your reverse hollows uh, and also your, uh, let's do this. All right, here's your reverse hollow. So you got a lot of reverse hollows from the set. I'm going to put your um, McDonald's cards in a separate little pouch as well. You've got your Poplio Hollow. You got Ditto and Cinderace V. And you got your Cramorant V Max. Isn't this a cool card? I really like that card. People always hate on Cramorant. I actually really like him. Now, maybe I need to watch the show or something. Maybe he's a doofus and I don't know that. But I like the way he looks. I'll say that. All right. Elise is back. Elise, are you in the ship too? I can't remember who we already put in the ship box now. Yeah, you are. Here we go. <coughs> All right, Elise, what'd you grab? Order number 2077. Elise grabbed one pack of Shining Fates and two custom booster packs. Oh, there's only a couple more of these. Um, and then how many? One Shining Fates. So somebody else bought one Shining Fates, so I got to open up a new tin or something. Here we go. Oh, let's do your customs first. Elise got... Her package, very nice. All right, here we go, Elise, just in time. Oh, Elise, what do you think it's gonna be? I'm guessing, I think, I'm guessing probably like a Bolton or maybe like, mm, maybe like a Galarian Lanoon, potentially. All right, you got the Reverse Hollow Morpeko, and you got a Morpeko V, and you got a Pikachu V. All right, so you pulled, you pulled the double 
V card pack. So we had two of those in a row. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Crystal said, please hold. Okay, yes, yes. I, um, I'm i not going to ship because you, you have to buy shipping to get shipping. So uh, I don't think you bought shipping, but I'll double check just in case you did. All right. Oh, pfft. sorry, Elise. I hope that you, um, I don't know what you, if you collect code cards, but here we go. You've got, these are all Shining Fates code cards. <laughs> You got a reverse hollow rusted sword. You got a Cinderace V and ah, you got that last pack of Shining Fates in this booster box. Congratulations. So we're going to open up two packs of Shining Fates for you. They are from different things though. So this was from, they're each from tins, but different tins. So here's your prize pack from your custom. So let's go ahead and open up this one. So this is your prize pack, not the one that you bought the one that you just got from your custom booster pack. We are going to skip ahead a little bit. All right, here we go. You got a reverse hollow dreadnought and a boss's order regular rare. All right, not a good one. Let's see how your, your actual pack does. This is the pack that you actually bought. Here we go, one, two, three, four. You ready? Elise, let's see it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Elise, let's do it. Elise, let's do it. Elise, let's do it. Yes. Yes. You got a double banger pack. Oh, nice. Okay, so you got that baby shiny Arc Desalt. Nice. So not leaving here empty handed without a baby shiny. And you also got a greeting V. You basically got a whole collection of V cards in that. You almost got all the V cards. <laughs> Not all of them, but a good amount of them. All right, congratulations, Elise. Very nice. Oop, sorry. Gonna go ahead and slip these back there. Let's go ahead and put these into a baggie. These are your regular rares and reverse hollows. And let's go ahead and put your commons, and I'm gonna put you back into the shipping box. Very nice. All right, just a couple more orders. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Blar. Blar, I think you are new. I, I don't know if that name has ever popped up before. Hello. Thank you for your patience. All right. This is Blar B with order number 2078. And Blar, what did Blar grab? Burning Shadows. Very nice. One Custom and one Shining Fates. Um, Blar, are you here? Bilar, where are you? There's one more custom pack left. Bilar, Bilar. If Bilar doesn't answer, the question is, should I open up a new tin to get the one pack? Because I actually remember I accidentally opened up that one pack. Or should I open up, I think I have a pin, a Dedenne pin set. Where should I get the one pack from? Uh, let's do the pin set. Unless Bilar, you're here and you want to answer. My wife's pack, okay, Mo. Um, I am one Shining Fates pack short, so I need to open up either a tin or a, um, or a pin pack. So should I open up, do you want me to get the pack from a tin, or do you want me to get the pack from this pin set? Tin or pin set? Where do you want the last pack, the one pack of Shining Fates that you guys ordered, where do you want it to come out of? Tin, okay. Tin. You ask and you shall receive. That was my bad that accidentally are one short because I accidentally ripped that one pack open. I mean, it was a good pack. Giveaway code cards, okay. I'm probably gonna forget, so you have to remind me. Um, I don't usually do this. But for you, I will. For you, I will. I want to muster every ounce of confidence I have. Which pack do you want for your one pack of Shiny Fates? Last pack that we're opening. Cannonball into the water. You have a choice of all the pack arts. So you pick one. Got the Charizard, got Dracopult, you got Toxtricity, you got Corviknight. You pick one. 
And let's go ahead and open up Zard, of course. Okay, Zard, great. Here we go, let's do it. Let's do it, here's your custom pack. The custom pack is going to pull you. What is it gonna pull you? What are you gonna get from this custom pack? Oh, hollow real boom. But you got the Reshiram, amazing rare. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put one of each. There's three amazing rares in this set and I put one of each in this booster box, actually, which was pretty cool. All right, here we go. Number three. Oh, give away the code cards. Oh, I don't have a code card yet. I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. Three wit Marco. What are you guys talking about? All right, here we go. Here's your burning shadows pack. Ah, you got the green. Oh, we're going to share the code cards. There you go. You got the green code card though. So there's not going to be anything in here. You get the Bufalent, Reverse Hollow, and the Malamar Regular Rare. And let's see what, you pick this pack. So if it's not good, that's on you. <laughs> All right, let's see what the Zard pack gives to us. Oh, there's the code card. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we can end with for you, Bilar. Or I think Bilar is your wife, Mo. I don't know who we're opening these for. All right, let's see it. Uh, you got the reverse hollow volcano and oh, there you go. Okay, I was a little bit worried. I was a little bit sad because usually when you see that reverse hollow, it's not really a good sign. Um, but you got the more Peco V Max. Very cool. Very very cool. All right. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad. The burning shadows was a little bit cold, as it does, as it is. That's a normal thing. But you did pretty good with your shining fates and your custom. So you're grabbing two hits from there. I'm gonna go ahead and put you in the box whenever you're ready to ship. You gotta buy shipping and then let me know and I'll ship it. All right, congrats, congrats, congrats. Who is next? Patricia! Patricia, did I ship you? I think I shipped you, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure I did. Here we go. And this is, is a different Patricia. I don't think it is, though. 2079. 2079. Patricia's grabbing one pack of Evos. And one custom. So you got the last custom. Let's go ahead and move that off the table. All right, let's see it. Last pack magic, perhaps? Last pack magic, perhaps? Maybe. Oh. Oh. What? What? Patricia, are you even here? Or am I just opening these up by myself? Ooh. Patricia? Patricia? Patricia, here you go. Last pack magic. Oh, pulling the Ditto V Max Full Art Shining. Oh, pulling a Ditto V double banger pack to end the custom booster box with. I told you guys, I'm never going to let you guys down in regards to the last pack magic in the custom booster because we don't want to end on anything bad. This is such a cool card, you guys. Such a cool card. I want to say that this is, this and the Lapras V Max are, might be the two hardest shinies to pull after the Zard. There you go, Patricia. There you go. Okay, double, <laughs> you got a double ditto pack. Now, let's go ahead and see what your Evos pack is. You are getting a Zard artwork. Ah. Okay, grabbing the green code card, but, but still a chance to get some hits. So let's see if we can get you anything. Ghastly, Caterpie, Energy, Magikarp, Seal. Ah, you got the Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow, and the Far-Fetched Regular Rare. Oh, man, isn't that the second time we pulled the Electabuzz Reverse Hollow today? All right, so the Evos pack did not get you anything, but you got the two hits out of the custom. So, And the Ditto Full Art, which is cool. There you go, Patricia. All right, I'm putting you in the box, Patricia. Patricia, in the box. Tano, not, ta I don't even know why I want to call you Tano. Tano, it doesn't even make any sense. All right, Tano. Order number 2080 and grabbing that shipping. Tano, you let me know if you want me to ship or hold, okay? 
you're not, um, you're not, I don't think you're close to 11 packs. I'm not really quite sure. Um, but you let me know. Yo, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yay. All right. Okay, what'd you get? You got one pack of Evos. Evos has been a little bit cold, so hopefully it's a little bit hotter for you. It is Zard artwork. And you got two packs of Burning Shadows. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Tano. Can we pull? No. I was going to say, can we pull the Rainbow Zard? Not from this pack, but maybe the next one. All right, you got the Stuffle Reverse Hall and the Heracross Regular Rare. Dang it. Burning Shadows has been a little bit cold for us. Here we go. Caterpie Reverse Hollow and a Butterfree. Oh, that's funny. Oh, huh. did you get the Metapod in here too? No, that would have been cool. All right, Tano, can you pull some fire from the Evos pack? Oh, Tano. All right, let's see it. Tano pulling the white code card from the Evos pack. Let's see what Tano's got. Here we go. Hi, I called you Thanos. <laughs> See, now it's in my mind. Thanos is in my mind, and now I want to call you Thanos. Oh, my God. Tano, Tano, just punch me in the face now. Just punch me in the face now. All right, let's... <laughs> like, randomly just start calling you Thanos. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ugh, you got a Pokédex? Uh, well, Pidgeot really just wanted to make an appearance today. We got the Pidgeot EX. Pidgeot EX. All right. So not the fire of the fire pools that I'm assuming that you wanted, but you got a hit, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and put these in your bag. Uh, let's see. Maybe next week. We'll see. Is that about your shipping? So should I hold your shipping? Let me know because I'm going to put you in the ship box. But I think you're saying, basically stating that you want me to um, to hold. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Okay, I'm going to hold for right now. Yeah, hold for now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, last order with shipping. And it's for Blur. Blur, uh, ship now or hold? Ship now or hold until next time. You let me know. Um, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to put you in the ship box. And before we go, I mean, I guess it only makes sense, right? Because I had to open up that whole new tin, right? Doesn't it make sense that I should just open up these packs? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, I'll be honest. I, I kind of want to see what the Poke Gods have in store because Valar chose the... Uh, the Zard pack, which was right in between these ones, I usually just pull from the top of the tin. So I'm kind of interested to see at least what's in this pack right here because in theory, if we hadn't done that, Bilar would have gotten this pack or Bilar and Mo, whoever is the cards are for. All right, so I think I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, might as well. It's here, it's here in front of me, right? All right, so this is what this is what um, Mo slash Bilar would have gotten if we would have just stuck to like, you just get the top pack. You don't get a choice. Oh, save and sell later. Think of a mad Amy. Oh, I mean, it's too late. <laughs> I already made the mistake of accidentally opening that last pack. That was so bad. That was so bad. Oh my God. I can't believe I did that. I definitely just grabbed it thinking it was the Hidden Fates pack. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We got the full art ditto V. Full art ditto V. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the ship. So, so far this tin had two hits because it got the more, more Peko and the ditto V. I mean, now for science, I feel like we should just open these to see, right? Right? For science. 
I know this is going to end up in a custom booster. So was the uh, Grim Snarl that ended up in my that I accidentally opened earlier. Uh, for science, for science, what do you guys think? Science for research, for scientific purposes. I think we probably should just open those. What if it happens to have one of the three cards I need left for my pack, for my collection? What do you guys think? How come no one's answering? If no one answers in five seconds, we have to know. Exact for science, zero. I like the way that you think. What if they're just icy cold packs? That could be it too. And then the Poke Gods are probably like, well, told you, you shouldn't have touched them. All right. Let's see it. So this is pack technically number three from the tin. So we have two hits so far. Uh, we got the Morpeko Reverse Hollow, which is fine. I'll take that, you know, with all my Morpeko packs. You know, those aren't gonna, I know. Actually, this is how, you know how I have to open packs until we get a hit? So I'm opening these ones and then we just stop. Unless we don't get a hit, then we have to open up something else, but not Shining Fates. We'll open up something else. We'll open up something, something different. We'll do something different. Amy's on vacation, so she's not watching. So she can't be mad. Oh my gosh, I thought this was gonna be Galarian Obstagoon. I need the Galarian Obstagoon. Dang, I got really excited there. I thought this was going to be, but Thievel's still a really good one. I just thought that this was going to be Galarian Obstagoon. Oh my gosh, I was about to celebrate. All right, so, so far, this 10, what do we get? One cold pack so far. So we have one, two, and then the one hit. So three hits technically from this 10 out of, out of what? Four packs. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. This is pack number five for science. <laughs> I love that's what I use. Like, yeah, for science. <laughs> uh, we got the reverse hollow cacnea and a Celebi regular rare. All right. So two cold packs out of this tin so far. Last pack magic with the toxicity, the toxicity pack. All right, can we get something decent? I don't know. I don't know. No. The Pokey Gods were like, you you went a little bit too far there. That's what the Pokey God said. Okay, so now we have to, we can't end on that, guys. We can't end on that, guys. We can't end on it, guys. Don't yell at me. We can't end on that. All right. Um, I hope, I just want to, as I'm doing this, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who joined me today. This stream was much longer than I thought it was going to be. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Almost five hours as we normally do because, you know, that's just how we do. So I appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate it for, to anybody. I appreciate anybody who purchased anything from me today. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to pack up the stuff tonight. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I have to finish, um, my budget for work. So I'm going to pa start packing tonight. So I might get some of the stuff out tomorrow. Um, but I'll try to make sure I get it out by Tuesday or Wednesday latest. Okay. So if you ask for shipping, there's a lot of things in the box right now. Um, so I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, we're officially onto a new tin. That was the first pack of a new tin. Cause it was every four packs was, or not a new tin, a new box. So that first collection box, I think, was pretty cold for us, huh? I forgot who opened it. Machoke and a Zygarde. Ooh. Are both of these boxes going to be cold? I had such good luck when I opened these on my TikTok that I just hop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are these both going to be... Are these both going to be cold? I'm glad I'm opening them up and not you guys right? Oh my gosh. Actually, do I need that card? I can't remember. Oh my God. That was bad. Okay. Wait a second. That was like bad. We can't end on that. That was real bad. You guys, that was bad. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. I'm going to open up an Evos pack. I don't usually open up Evos packs for myself, but I am in the process of trying to not collect the master set of this, but just kind of collecting this set. So it's a very expensive experiment to be opening, but I'm going to, we did get a green code card. 
Let's see if we can get any secret rares. No secret rares. Onyx, dugong. One more for science? One more? One more. That's it though, just one more, because these are very, it's so hard to get Evos packs. If I don't get a hit from this Evos pack, we'll open up a Cosmic. That's a little bit cheaper, but still kind of expensive, so I probably shouldn't do that either. Oh, oh, okay, we're ending it. But what are we ending it on is the question. Hold on, I have a separate Evos. A little Evos section over there. Let me put the Evos cards. Okay. What are we ending this on? This stream is ending right here, right now. Oh. I hope it's... Ugh. If it's a slow bro, we're not ending on this. Hi, Zark. We are not ending on a slow bro. I just want you guys to know. Bye, Bella. Have a great rest of your day. We'll get that Pikachu. Do Duo. Drowsy. Again? Can we end on that? Can we though? I don't I don't think we can. I don't think we can. That's almost just as bad as a freaking slow bro, right? Right? Am I right? What do you guys think? I think so. I think that it, we can't end on that. That's a Pidgeot EX. It's a hit, but we can't end on it. Right? Marco, Marco, don't be a buzzkill. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, I'll end on that. I have never pulled this card before. This is a secret rare Torkoal. I love the secret rares from uh, Cosmic. I really, really love. I have yet to pull a Red's Pikachu or whatever it's called. I don't know if it's called Red's Pikachu. Um, but we got an amazing rhetorical. Okay, we can end on this one. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, that was fun times. And uh, I'll see you guys maybe during the week, but definitely next week sometime, okay? Have a great Sunday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!